spring on it. Beyonce. Yep. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we are, guys. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. Well, my computer's slow, so. Right. Yeah. It's slow tonight. Smack my bitch up. Smack my bitch up. <laughs> That's going to be in my head all night long now. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cute little thing. Smack Definitely. my bitch up. Mm-hmm. Hold on, i got to find the mute button. Okay. Got it. Well, I look different on the screen than I do on here, but I guess it's the light. But I can't do nothing with the light unless I get another bulb. You look fine. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. okay um. Let's find a mouse again. So we got. Quite a few people in the house awesome. tonight at Rocks. Awesome. Hello, everybody. Um, you want to do a rundown? Sure. Yeah, Jerry Pruitt, Susan Rogers, Johnny Master Arms Dunn, Tara Farley, Richie Freeman. Brian T. Han Knives, Driver of All, Stump at Ivester, Mouse Toes, Stump Greenwood SC, Kelly Parks, Heart of a Lion MU, Buckeye Imaging, Iridium 242, 1983 Richem, and uh, no, I don't think I've ever seen the video to that song, Iridium, but I am going to now. Smack my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we did see a video, but it probably wasn't the right one. Right. Yeah. And no, um, Buckeye Imaging, I didn't wear my new earbuds tonight, and the reason being... Sorry, my bad. Um, Dish bought her some, too, and hers, we can't get hers to work on her computer, and she's going to have um, her brother to look at it and see what's wrong with it, and... Until she gets hers to work, and I'm not going to wear mine. So, once she gets hers to go on, then, then I can wear mine. So, True friendship. Yes. I can't leave her, I can't leave her in the dust. Hey, Jack of all trades. What's up, Jack? I will make a note to watch that video. I really do. Yeah, I too. Mm-hmm. Sounds like it might be pretty good. Mm-hmm. I ain't never heard it before. The song? Yeah. I ain't never heard it before. That's because you're always listening to, you know, like, Michael Jackson mm -hmm. and the Backstreet Boys. You're talking about my Backstreet Boys now. Dirty dancing music. I know, right? <clears throat> I had to share that video today. Somebody had it on theirs and shared it with me. So I had to share it today. I couldn't help it. God, I miss that man. Gosh. Yes, he did. <sighs> terrible. So what you got in the works for us, Dish? You've been hunting today. I have been, yes. <clears throat> a little bit of disturbing news, but it goes, you know, along with these people. Pakistani and brother and sister get married. Oh, geez. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, seriously. I hope they weren't blood related. Hmm. Oh, that's so disgusting. That's about like the grandma and the grandson that got hitched that I was talking about. While yeah, I was that gross. That's just... <laughs> mm. No. Some things you just should not do. And I wanted to read the whole article, but it was in Pakistanian, so I couldn't read all oh. of it. 
There's that some is. secret message in that. You no, know what the scribbles mean. I couldn't decipher it. I tried hard, but she couldn't decipher the scribbles. Okay. And a woman was fishing for crabs. Um, and she was snatched by a Bengal tiger while her husband watched. What did he do? Just stand there and not do nothing? Yeah, he just watched. He kept crabbing, I guess. Well, <laughs> I'll be there in a minute, honey. I about got five in here. I'll yeah. be there in a minute. Um, oh, see, my word. See. Yeah. The Sanderbans National Park. It was the mangrove forest, which is a big tangled mess of trees, and he just snatched. I guess the tigers jump into people's boats along this stretch of the river and everything, and snatch people out of their boats and everything. So I don't think it's worth crabbing, but you know. Why would you be that close to the edge? I know. In a, and the uh, the river rises too, so you if you get caught in those mangrove, you're in deep shit. Right. Or if it's on a ledge, the tiger jumping down into the boat, but then he would be a dumbass because then he's got to jump out and there's nowhere to jump to. True that. True that. Wow. Keep getting snatched up. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. That's just. That's wild. Hello, Pure Madness. Howdy, howdy. So that's my news for the day. Well, that's cool news. Where did you find that news at? Let me go back there. Oh, uh, I just put... Um, what did I put in? Uh, Google shocking events for August 2014. Oh. <laughs> There you have it. There right. you have it, people. <laughs> That's it. I used to be signed up when I was when I worked in Ohio. I used to have this. Um, I don't know. It was laughter the best medicine or something like that. It was some kind of email that they sent out once or twice a week. Mm -hmm. And I had signed up for it, and it would tell you, like, the updated events, the newest jokes, this, that, and blah, 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 so on. But I haven't found nothing like that. I don't even know if they do that anymore. And then we had one that used to come across fax machine. But oh, okay. uh, maybe I can see if I can find one of those again where they email it to us. Yeah, that'd be the, cool. The like, current stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, Brian. Pure Madness says there's a young girl over here was snatched and killed this week. 17-year-old male is being charged. It's that girlfriend-boyfriend stuff, that young love. If, you, if I can't have you, nobody else will type deal. Right, yeah. That's probably what it's all about. They they get their they get the claws stuck in them and they don't want to let go and it's like, okay, well, you know, if I can't have you then the next one's not going to, so Right. That jealousy stuff. Hey Brandon. Howdy howdy. Yeah, jealousy. Yeah, jealousy is Hey Peachy Prepper. You know, she won Tara Farley's Got did that. she? Awesome! She did, Congratulations! Right? Mm -hmm. right. <clears throat> yep. That's pretty good. That is yeah. that is good. I have it narrowed down though to where if Tara hadn't have extended it, I would have been the winner. Oh man, that's rough. I know, right? Yeah, I have it all calculated. <sighs> Yeah, niceness sucks sometimes when you're extending. That's just niceness. It really sucks sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Dish, yeah. man. Yeah, I know, because oh, I need the mathematics and the mathematics. <laughs> That's a word. Yeah. <laughs> mathematics, guys. <laughs> mathematics. It's, it's actually better than mathematics. Math mathematics. 
I said maximum. It's, max. it's higher than that. Stop <clears throat> it. Stop it now. <laughs> you have to go back to school or something. I mean, right. seriously. Right. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, <laughs> Like Pure, uh, Pure Madness said something about he want his 14 year old. I seen it, but it's all gone now. But he was saying that one of his kids, he was wondering why he kept a tight leash. That's what right. everybody needs to do is you need to know what your kids are doing and where they're at and stuff like that. I did that on my 20 year old, and you know, so far so good. And, you know, I got three more that I've got to do that too. So you need to keep a tight leash, and no matter how much shit they give you about it. Just ignore it and just, you know what's right. That's right. Now make sure they got a cell phone. Even if it's one of those prepaid flip phones. Sure. Right on. Make sure you, I mean, it could be a pass, it could be a block phone. A bag phone for all that is. As long as the mm -hmm. phone works and they can dial 911. And a lot of cell phones, you don't even have to do prepaid. You can charge the phone and keep the phone. 911 still works on that phone. True. Very, very true. And the 911 will locate and pinpoint their location. And even if they dial 911 and lay the phone down somewhere and they're still in the vicinity, they'll find them. You know. So um, don't, don't throw your old cell phones away. Donate them to somebody. Donate them to a church or... Uh, a school or something. I mean, I don't know if they take them or not, but you know, at least a 911 would work on the phone if you keep it charged. So, mouse toes in the house. Hello, hello, Fox Fire Vineyard. Welcome back. It's been a long time. Hello, TR Prepper. TR's in the house. Smack my bitch up. Smack my bitch up. <laughs> Gator one five seven. Hello. Driver ball. Hello. I'm always happy. Prepper. Hello. Sorry, Michelle. Howdy, 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 everybody. We're going to have a good night. We're going to have an awesome night. I'm all rested up. I slept in today. The kids are gone for a week. I reorganized my bedroom. Half of it I've got to do from, from uh, where are we at? From here back. But from here, I did get it organized and I changed my computers around so you guys will have a different scenery. Um, yes, you'll still be looking at my flip flops. But I did get a... Uh, I did get it straightened up some. Dish noticed. Let's see. I, I did notice. Looks I even have good. my nice pink little tiny rose bush here. I saw it at the store and it was so cute. Look at the roses. Yeah. Are you going to plant it outside? I can't plant it outside. I ain't got nowhere to plant it. So I have to keep it inside till it dies. Hello, Diggin' Dixie. Howdy, howdy. <clears throat> you can always pull that box up that Megan was trying to pull up and put those there. Right. <laughs> sure enough. <laughs> sure enough. Yeah, I told you about those two pit bulls today, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we had two pit bulls roaming the area today, and a policeman was trying to—I don't know what he was doing. He was just walking around, but I mean, he wasn't trying to capture the dogs or contain them or anything like that. Um, he was probably looking for a cup of coffee and a donut or something. But anyway, there was two pit bulls running around. They were friendly, and one of them looked like she had given birth because her boobs were hanging quite low, so you could tell she was nursing some puppies. But uh, they were real nice, but I just glad that my dog didn't see them, and then they start going at it. So when I walked my dog tonight, I was very cautious, because if he had seen it, they had seen him, it's just, that would have just right. been awful. But I did have my gun on my side, but I just kept thinking to myself, I was like, if a dog comes after my dog, 
I don't care what dog it is, but he starts fighting my dog. The dog ain't got no hope. I saw um, in a magazine or something today um, a nine uh, Beretta nine millimeter, and it was pink, but it looked different than yours. Really? Yeah. Was it a darker pink? Mm-hmm. Was it? I know they've got some that's like a rose colored, like dark, like a purplish pink. Yeah. Kind of sort of deep, deeper pink. I saved the picture. I'll show it to you later. Okay. Yeah, AZ's right. He said that uh, put the roses in a wood planter on your porch. Well, I don't. Well, I've got a back slab. So. Mm -hmm. The only bad, the only bad thing about that is that we've got several cats running around here, and they pee on everything. That they haven't got a hold of my tires yet, but I've seen them peeing on Johnny's tires. <laughs> I, I hate when the cats back up and they just sprinkle all over the whatever hey, they find. Them. They're spraying their territory or whatever. Yeah, yeah I'm like, it's disgusting. Like, like, dude, you don't even live here. Why are you spraying? You need to go on somewhere. Yeah. <clears throat> yep, 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 yep. So, um, want to tell Mouse Toes, thank you. I got your, um, letter in the mail today. Thank you very much. That was nice of you. It's nice to hey. hear from folks. Steve Spearman and Jeff XL12 and Allie Rector. Yeah, the cat spraying and stuff is bad. Yeah, that cat cat pee is just awful, and when it gets really hot outside, it just um. Fills up the air. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yep, 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 yep. Um, yeah, C. Spearman says Beretta with question marks. I've got a Beretta nine, well, a nine. Nano, that's what she. That's what we were talking about. But just saying that that dog had come up to my dog, I, I wouldn't want to hurt anybody else's dog at all. Right. I, I would not want to shoot somebody else's dog, but if that dog come up and was not detained and been flitting around the neighborhood for God knows how many hours and nobody's out looking for him, then um, when he comes up and jumps on my dog, that's going to be the end of it. Right. I gotta make a choice. It's either my dog or their dog. So um, a pit bull is not one that you. I like pit bulls. So don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking a pit bull. So it ain't none of that. Pit bulls are awesome dogs. They're pretty dogs. And um, there is some that is friendly, but then there is some that they make mean, and it's not their fault that they become mean. Right. So, but I'm not gonna let another dog jump on my dog either. Oh no 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 no. no. And you can't pull two dogs apart when you've only got one person. There's, it's not going to happen. I mean, I wouldn't get between two dogs because they don't think about who's there. Right. So. Um, Jeff X says, here in the country, we have all female cats. <laughs> LOL. You know, we can send all the cats you want to. If you need some males, we got some. We'll send them on that way. Vinegar and water mixed will kill cat. It stink. Hmm. Um. And just to let everybody know, um. If you guys message me on YouTube or something, I normally don't check my messages when I'm on chat. So if I 
I'm not intentionally not checking my messages. I mean, I, if I miss your message and, and you message me and I was on chat or something, then I don't check them until afterwards. <clears throat> that's on Facebook. That's on YouTube. So just letting everybody know. Not trying to ignore nobody or nothing, but it, right when I'm doing chat, I like to kind of focus on the chat and worry about the other stuff afterwards. Yeah, so um, let's see. So who do we got? We still got Paper Tigers having his contest. He's still giving away to August 31st. Yeah, um, I don't know if I can wait that long. I know, right? I'm waiting too. To find out that I didn't win. <laughs> right? <clears throat> and Mike Delucia, is that, I think, I don't know if his is his over. His is over. Is yeah, over? his is over. His is over. Tara's is over now. Um... Are we missing anybody? Oh, Heart of a Lion has got hers going on. You guys get in on hers. True. So, um, definitely get in on hers. And I can't think of anybody else's. Oh, um, no. That's very true, Stone. Very true. What's that? He said dogs are easy to break up, but stay the hell out of the way of two women that are fighting. Right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover, so I don't, I don't know nothing about that. I've only been in one fight in my whole entire life with another female. I was just one, and that was when I was really young, and it was over a dude. <laughs> Well, I mean, I weren't really. She was trying to fight over him, and you know, he. Oh sure. He didn't want to have nothing else to do with her, and she got jealous, and so it's like, okay, bring it on, let's go, let's go there. Yeah, right on. Let's quit talking, quit yapping, let's do this. Needless to say, I don't think either one of us won. I think we got tired out before it all ended. I think we just kind of quit. So I don't think I can't take uh can't take credit for it because uh we're just done. <laughs> you got too tired to keep fighting. Yeah, too tired to keep fighting. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Or either figured out that he wasn't worth it one or two. I beat up a few people, but no one will talk about it right now. Uh -oh. <laughs> Uh, it was mainly when I was a kid. Later. They're right on, yeah. Yeah, I think it was four of them all together. Four of them, yeah. Well, I think Heart of the Lines um, contest is VR only. I think she did say that. It's much easier to keep up with, so. Oh, heck yeah. Tara said Indiana Outdoors is having a giveaway. Okay. Oh, Indiana Outdoors. And also, too, Live for Wild is giving away a cool holster. Holster, that's right. So, about forgot about that. Yeah. So, before we bring our people in, we're going to bring them in a little bit early. Um, me and Chad like to have a few minutes to chill out and talk to you guys and kind of one-on-one -on -one it. So, um, we're going to bring our people in in a minute. But... As you guys know, I put a video out today, and I want to just show you guys my nice new camera that Miss Dish got me. I, I love this booger. It's just like hers, too, so she's got one just like it, so she's going to help walk me through all of it, but it's, it's really cool. But it's going to take a little bit longer to upload videos now that it's, you know, full HD. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it'll take a little bit longer, but that is a awesome camera. I love it. I haven't got to use it yet, but I'm going to try to tomorrow. I've got a few videos in the works that I'm thinking about. Cool. Yeah, so. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm glad you like it. Yes, I love it. And it is 60. Zoom. See, I, I told you. I knew it had I, to be. Yeah, it was 60. Zoom, I thought it was 40. 
it said that in the description. I knew they was wrong. I knew I saw it right off. Yeah. Yeah, if I had to put it back in his handy dandy little bag right here. Right. Yes, My, yep, mine's sitting over there. Got to keep it all nice and pretty. All nice and pretty. Okay, let's see if tonight this is going to work for us. Remember last night it didn't work and I had to send out links to everybody in there. Yeah, in the stupid, well, message box. It's not even the inbox anymore. Yes. Well, it worked for you, so maybe it'll work for them too. Right. So we'll do that. So if, um, I guess that's pretty much what we had to rant about. Well, we didn't really rant, but we can. We can rant about all these high-priced dollar groceries that they're charging for and this high-priced gas. Cool, Brian. So he, that's the same brand that he just bought. Awesome. Awesome. No, AZ, it's not pink, but that's cool. It's black. I like that color, too. Pink or black? One of the two. I mean, I can put some pink on it now. I can bling that mug out. I got <laughs> right. I got, I got, I got tons of bling right here. All this pink bling right here. Yeah, I can bling it out now. Yes, sir. No, I don't <laughs> bid against anybody, <laughs> Brian. I, I, I didn't bid for that camera. <laughs> I know. <laughs> ATR. What's up? Not much. Tara, that's a JVC. Um, I don't have the box right here. Yeah, she wants to know the name of the. It's a JVC, but it's a 1080p H full HD camera. I hope that helps. Just a second. Hey, TR. Hello. Are you wide open or not? Winding down is what I'm doing. Yeah, you did work today. Yeah. Or same. I got a little 30 minute nap in. Good gracious. Well, at least you got 30 minutes in. Yeah. Yeah, I, I slept in today a little bit. Just a little bit since the kids weren't here. I can't remember. I know it starts with an E. The oh, mark. it's a it's a E E. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. That's the model brand. Yeah, I don't know the model number. My dish must have really messed up. All I had to do was buy a couple of little knives to get on the shelf. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love my knives. It's a E V E R I O. I forgot I downloaded the app to it today on my phone. Hmm. Okay, cool. Ever O? Ever O? Ever O? Easy, put yeah. it in there. Yep, that's it. <sighs> yes, that's it. That works. Half hour nap, man. That's not good. <laughs> no. not well, good I mean, all. if you get too tired, you can always jump out. We understand. Yeah, I mean, I, I can stay on here an you know, hour or so, two hours maybe. Hey, 420 Homestead. Howdy, howdy. So, Justin. Yeah, it, it'll only cost you, uh, you know, black tenacious or something like that. You know? <laughs> 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 She's trying. I love it. I love my tenacious now. Don't try to take that. <laughs> I'll cut you, man. <laughs> it's pretty sweet now. You, you start to play with it a little bit and you get it broke in. It's amazing how slick it gets. Oh, yeah. It's like butter. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Yeah, I definitely think that's a well worthwhile purchase. They're, they're a really nice knife. I really dig mine. Yeah, they are very nice. Now I'm going to have to get me a... Uh, well, I want to get a black one just because I just want a black one to go with you. You know, white and black goes together. Um, <laughs> <laughs> silver and black, whatever. Um, and then, you know, I'll have to uh, keep upgrading. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're really nice knives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really um, glad I didn't get the... Uh, like the Enduro or Delica. I know Super likes them, but they'd be real close to that Kara Kara. And right. It's, it's okay. I like It's all right. But, and the Kara Kara is great, 20 bucks, but I wouldn't have been as happy with it if I'd have paid $60 for it. <laughs> See, no, that's good. That's good you said that because now I, now I know to skip that one. Yeah. I think it's just hard to beat that tenacious line. They make some bigger ones. I mean, smaller ones and stuff, but I, I like that size there. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. How about yours, Michelle? You got that flick down and got her all brokey. <laughs> 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 I'm working on it. I, I ain't opened that thing but twice since I had it. What's she talking about? I believe that. Mm -hmm. so, wow. <laughs> That's right, 420. The black one looks bigger. <laughs> well, soup is probably out at the camp getting. Yeah, I'm gonna send him a link, but I'm not looking forward to him taking it. Cause he's birthday in it. Okay. Later, heart. I'm sure she's already gone. I just now seen she was leaving. Good night. Good night. Yeah, once you get it really broke in, I will admit I did. I think it. I don't know if it's necessary or not. Probably not supposed to, but I did put a drop of oil in one of those little holes where you. Oh, move. okay. You know whether it helped or not, and I did it a time or two, but I think just breaking it in, but. Because I used to still had to kind of flick my wrist, but now, you know, it's just so slick. Right, okay, cool. Hey, the sick man, 99. Plus, my, my, I got my finger stronger for <laughs> exercising. True, <laughs> right. Yeah, man. Oh, there's Stump. Oh, there's Johnny. Oh, there they are. What's up, guys? Hey, y'all. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hey, David and Misery. Yeah, you're not the only one, David. I know Driver at all, and maybe some other people are having problems seeing the chat. Oh, yeah. Or at least the uh, comment part of it. <laughs> right, <laughs> Jerry. I've been wanting a new knife. I've been dying to buy a new knife, but I just have not done it yet. There is this Tonto that I'm wanting by Cold Steel. This Tonto blade. And I'm like, can't get my eye off of it, but I hadn't broke down and bought it yet. I like these Tonto blades. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> right. 
tip. Okay. Maybe, maybe rub my, maybe rub my nose. Yeah. <laughs> right. Nose tip. Yeah. Right. And, and to check that shit. Make sure I ain't got no shit hanging. <laughs> Yeah, Brian. Said. Even Tr did the old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it sublim, you know, just subconsciously made me think something. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, let me turn my alarm off, guys. Sorry. That's okay. The every night thing. Yeah, Sarah says she got to make sure she loves hers. Yep. Got alarms to remind her to go check on her names, by the way. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Make sure they're still there. It's just there to annoy the hell out of Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> like, those, like those six other fucking alarms that are on her phone that she never wakes up to. <laughs> check and make sure they don't have any nightmares. Right, yeah. Oh, speaking of. Uh-oh. Wait till she gets back on, because I wanted her to hear this. And, and she swears I'm lying, but I swear I'm not. <coughs> so as you know, all know we were in the chats last night, so we, you know, we went we, we went to bed like over in the morning. We were probably in the bed asleep for about I don't know two oh hours maybe. Oh my gosh! And we are so she's talking in her. She's talking, and I thought she was saying, you know, trying to wake me up to say something to me. And so I wake up. What did you say? He's lying. I was like, "What the hell are you saying?" <laughs> she said, "Jay Bobo's in the house." <laughs> oh, I did Lord. not. And I was like, <laughs> "I did not." What the fuck are you talking about? She goes, "I'm just looking at my screen. Leave me alone." <laughs> <laughs> I did not. So she's dreaming not about completely. fucking cats, people. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> and then uh, when we woke up, I was like. The fuck you dreaming of Jay Vogel for? Oh, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, French sniper. Howdy, howdy. I can see how talking about nightmares would have reminded you of that, Johnny. <laughs> yeah. But she was uh she was apparently shouting out the damn the, the chat in her sleep. <laughs> see, it's called. Devotion, people. Jamie time, <laughs> damn devotion. I eat, Wait. sleep, breathe, and drink jammy time, okay? It's devotion. <laughs> so I even do shout outs in my sleep. What's so wrong with that? Oh, speaking of jammy time, I got my package. Oh, did you? you? Yeah. I had no clue that. Don't shake it. Ooh, I, it does make a little noise there. <laughs> Why it killed me. I want to open it, but yeah. I do an unboxing. I, I like to do an actual. Um, hey, GI Customs. Any Ebola feelings yet? Any? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Blood coming out of your ass or anything like that? <laughs> there should be, because he ate some goat today. Ooh. Oh, that looks so Ooh. nasty. My God. Oh, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who ate goat? George? GI Customs. Yeah, goat and fries. Hey. Goat is good. Oh, Y'all don't know what good. the hell you're talking about. No, no, this looks like black breaded chunks of nastiness, Johnny. Uh, well, now that may be true. Yeah, yeah it looked bad. <laughs> Goat's the number one eating meat in the world. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's probably what goat we're eating. Prepared, goat candy. prepared good is delicious. I'm telling you. I, I believe it. I'm, I'm, I'm having to guess because I don't know. Uh, I would think it would be like lamb. They're close to it, that. It's in that. It's yeah. in that flavor zone, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and well prepared lamb or well grilled lamb is delicious. I might Excuse have me. eaten the fries on the other side of the plate that weren't right. touching that meat, but uh, I don't even know if I'd have done that. <laughs> Let's just say that would be a good diet place for me to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I don't eat nothing. If I didn't die from the Ebola, I, I'd die from starvation because I don't think I'd be eating much over there. Hey, I started like a smart well, comment and say, you know, hey, they got they got forges in America. You ain't got to go all the way to Uganda to see a knife made. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got to tell you something, Stump. Whew. 
What's that? I used the the rest of my um, peppers that Stumpat sent me tonight, and my nose has been draining every since I ate them. <laughs> Powerful. <laughs> Powerful, ain't it? But even my eyes too, like I got my ceiling fan on, and every now and then the ceiling fan will hit my eyes, and they'll start watering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, I guess they're they're good for cooking. They're not not really meant for just chewing on straight. Yeah, I cooked them with the last of my um, talking about sick food. Michelle will think this is gross, but I cooked it with the last of my gator meat, and I was like. Oh, I think it needs a little more, so I added some more of those peppers in there, and I was like, "Damn!" <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh man, I'm gonna need the stomach pill after this." <laughs> uh, you want something to regret or look forward to, or you want to talk about it? Yeah, you know, they got to come out sooner or later. Oh damn! I forgot about that. <laughs> Don't tell her that she'll be gone here. <laughs> Oh, Lord, I forgot all about that. Mm -hmm. Better get some Jiffy Lube ready. Or <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. something to put the fire out, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> some damn aloe vera cooling gel. Yeah, I'll just sit it when I'm done. With the anesthesia, oh. with the uh -oh. anesthesia in it. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> that blue stuff in the sunburn. Yep, yep. That show has some fire. <laughs> George said tonight it's uh, goat curry. Oh. oh, curry isn't that very good, so I can't imagine. Yeah, I don't need curry either. Mm -mm. He's going to be lost a lot of weight when he comes back then. Oh, yeah, he's going to be just, like you said, Johnny, the screen door shooting shit through <laughs> yeah. the screen door and not hitting it. Right, shit through the screen door and never hit it. Shaking <laughs> out one end and spraying out the other. Mm -hmm. Oh, I shouldn't have ate that lamb. <laughs> <laughs> right. Or was that uh, lamb? Uh, yeah, right. It looked they had dogs like... and cats over there? Exactly. Uh, 420 said well ago that uh, when he was in Turkey, he he ate what was supposed to have been lamb, but he thought it, he think it, he think they served him goat. Uh, but yeah. but he's eat goat off his farm, too. I know he has. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, well, a buddy of mine, his father-in-law raises goats, and he does it for like, I don't know, you know, they tries to keep these, you know, the certain colors and purebreds and all that, and the ones that their colors don't come out right, he'll kind of raise them and slaughter them for meat, you know. Mm. And so he's ate a lot of it, and he said it was really good, you know. It, I mean, it is. It's good to me. Mm. And, 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 and speaking of 420, what he said while ago, you probably had what is called geet, because in all the Arab countries and in Greece, they mix goat and sheep together, and it, they call them geep. Mm -hmm. And it's because uh, you wouldn't think it, but goat, to me personally, is a – or I might get backwards, but I forget. Whichever one, one of them is a little bit stronger meat than the other, mm -hmm. and when you mix them like that, it tames the meat down. Yeah, I probably had it in Saudi Arabia. I, I, oh, what yeah. little bit of local food, food I had, with there was like these little vendors in their little trucks, you know, geedunt wagons, whatever. You know, that's what we call them in the Navy. Um, and but they were, uh, you know, they were Saudi Arabian or whoever the hell it was. But anyhow, they serve euros and shit like that. It was probably goat or geed or something like that. You know, mm -hmm. I was eating MREs, man. It could have been rat, and that shit would have tasted good. Oh yeah. <laughs> 420 said he traded a piglet for a half goat last year. So yeah, he. When I was in when I was in Greece, it was the first time I realized what they were because when I seen them in the Arab countries, I just I was like, that's a that's a funky looking fucking goat. <laughs> but then but the Greeks told me what they were. They were you know it's because they were interbred and they called them geep. But it looks like jeep with a g g e e p. <clears throat> oh, okay. 
as interracial goats. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I pretty yeah, I, you know, I, like I said, that's why I said I figured they taste similar to goat. I mean, to sheep because it. I'm pretty sure that's in the same family of animals there, but I don't know. I'm not a. Well, they, 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 they have to be in the same line yeah, yeah. because they can naturally mate. They don't. Yeah. And it's not. It's not done through any insemination process. Because yeah. a male goat will nail a female sheep. Yeah, if they can mix, they're definitely in the same family. No doubt. I ain't thinking yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll pass. Now, lamb is fucking delicious. Goat's good, too. I, I don't care what nobody says. Yeah. Hey, like I said, I eat squirrel. That's pretty much a rat. So, hell, I'm it's all it is. It's a free, it's a free rat. <laughs> it's listed as a rodent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'll eat the hell out of them. Mm -hmm. Right on. Jerry and Susan both saying that the goat, I got... I think I was correct. Goat was a stronger taste than the mm -hmm. lamb. Jerry is saying goat's similar to deer, evidently. Yeah. I got it, a freezer it, full of deer. Any, any, <laughs> any of that, any of that that you that you kill, like that goat, sheep, deer. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, is how you when you when you when you clean it, when you process it, is how you soak the meat. Mm -hmm. I know that. Blood is blood is where the hormone and the, and the flavor, the strongness comes from. It, but if you, and I, I know I've said this before, but if you soak it in ice water with baking soda and a little bit of salt in it, let the salt and baking soda mix before you throw the ice in there. You know, mm -hmm. and then soak the meat in it to draw the blood out of it. It makes it taste a lot calmer. Yeah, I don't know what and all that got that processor that I got that deer from. I know he like ages the meat. He's got like a cooler, or so I guess you know, big walk, big. I mean, he's almost like professional, whatever you know. We you know processors are in the south and stuff. And uh, anyhow, I know they age it or it hangs there for a week or something before he even butchers it. You mm -hmm. know, so I don't know if that's the aging process helps. And he may do all that. I have no freaking idea. I know it tastes fine to me. From 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 what I understand about all the aging and hanging the deer or it be beef or anything else, so that's for tenderization props, props okay. properties more so than taste or flavor. Yeah. That, that's just what I was told. I believe it because it's good. It's tender. Yeah. I've never eaten deer before, so I don't know what it tastes like. Yeah, the, the deer, well, most of mine, or half of it's like hamburger, in which he did mix in with, uh, you know, like beef fat, a little bit of beef fat in it. Mm -hmm. Like I say, hell, I cooked spaghetti the other day with it. If, I, if you ate it, nobody knows it was deer, right? You might think it tastes different than your spaghetti, but you just think, well, it's just... You know the way I the spices I put in it or whatever you you know. I think we got a troll, Michelle. Yeah. Oh yeah. So. That would uh, be a a racist troll. Mm -hmm. Yep. Love it, daggone. What an racist, idiot! Racist pig from hell. Yeah. Well, Y'all know the drill. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I prick. Exactly. Have fun burning in hell, dickhead. What the hell is that? This is crazy. We don't use the N word in here, so mm -hmm. move right on along. Trash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody's just trying to go away. He's doing that because they know. Idea. I have an idea who it is, so. I know that, it, that that it's not appreciated. I mean, anytime somebody done, yeah. Yeah, that's just not cool on any level. Yeah, that's not. Thank you guys for telling us, alerting us. We could be chatting or whatever, and you guys will see it before we do it. We do, depending on if our comments are coming up properly. 
Oh, he's definitely a troll. Hell, I just he's there's one he's over trolling on somebody else's stuff too. Live show. Yeah, it's just flat out troll account. Yep. It may not even be. Right. It, it may. It probably ain't even somebody we know because that was the young Turk. So he said some bull crap too there. Mm-hmm. Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> Not only am I blocking him, I'm reporting his ass too. Yep, definitely, because that's hate speech. Yep, it is. Yep. See, I done um, I done removed the comment and stuff, so I can't do it. Well, not, that's why I look, I'm what, looking at the channel and and it's probably you know well, I'm sure it's probably already been kicked out of a bunch of them, but you can actually report stuff like that, like hate speech, race, or ethnic origin, blah blah blah. Right. Look, will you put it in the internal? What was the name of it? Yeah. I, I report it to as many people's reports that it do do better. Yeah, cause I I removed the little I removed it. Yeah, we don't use that word. No. That's a no no in here. I mean, not just that big a deal like starting a new channel, but I don't know how far uh, YouTube goes if they, you know, keep the. ISP and address and all that stuff. They look all that stuff up. They can go directly yeah. to the person's house and find out who the person is. They don't. People don't realize that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They do not realize that they once you've been reported, if it's something really, really bad, they all they gotta do is call and inform the cops, and they Hello. go straight to your house. Sorry. Hello, Brett Kirby I don't know what and Jim. Good, J. Bobo weren't in here a while ago. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Chris. Oh. Hey, Chris. Uh, Brandon, I just read your message, and yes, I saw that, and... Yes. <laughs> okay. A lot of yeses there. And I appreciate it. But yeah, I'd or I had already seen that. So I'm uh, eventually going to Gonna take care of that shit. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm doing business here. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, give us a minute. We'll catch up, guys. Actually, I got something for you. While you guys are doing that, I'm going to throw out some trivia. It's not the Dirty Mind trivia. i got to get that game. I hadn't got it yet. So when I do, we'll have some cool, more cool trivia. But let's see who can answer this. And don't go look it up on Google. The fun of it is to see if you can answer it without looking it up on Google. It says the first tennis balls were stuffed with what? Does anybody know? The first tennis balls were stuffed with what? We'll see who can get it. And Brett Superfly's birthday is tonight, and he is at the camp getting wasted.
And Jay Bobo, you didn't miss a thing, honey. You came in just at the perfect time. Didn't miss the thing. Yeah, right, no. <laughs> Toilet paper, rabbit fur, feathers. There's some rubber. creative thinkers. Right, straw. Um, actually, Brett Kirby got it. Hair is actually human hair, so. That's really? kind of, yeah, that's kind of disgusting. Huh. Yeah, that's gross. Imagine cutting open one of them things and sticking it on the end of somebody's walker with all that hair inside. Yuck. Yuck anyways, but yeah, yuck. Yeah, I wonder if it was like live people here or dead people here. I mean, seriously? Uh, it, to me, it wouldn't matter. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> right? These are called strange and odd trivia facts. Um, let's see. 200 years ago, all white people knew tomatoes were what? 200 years ago, all white people knew two new tomatoes were what found this one to be kind of intriguing I actually knew this one didn't you? yeah she did hmm. oh they so also <laughs> didn't say that sorry no, no, it's fine. That's a process trying to do that, but I'll do it later. I got it all pulled up still. Anyway, sorry. That's cool. We're just talking about um. You guys are on the uh, a couple of you guys are on the right track. Oh, driver of all got it. Poor yeah. right. right on. See, me and me and driver, we know our shit. What was the question again? I'm sorry, I was distracted. 200 years ago, <laughs> white people thought tomatoes were what? We thought I tomatoes think. was poison? Really? Yeah, poisonous. they thought to tomatoes were poisonous. That you couldn't yeah. eat them. It must have been a Yankee thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting here noticing it was two older gentlemen that uh, happened to know that. I wasn't going to bring that up, though. <laughs> that's, right. Well, that's right. With age comes wisdom, young man. <laughs> I had never heard that. Yep. <laughs> Iridium is good with a side of spam. Right. Actually, it would be. Heck yeah. <clears throat> Lots of salt with some salt and pepper on the tomatoes. <laughs> mm. I thought said they were related to the tobacco plant. Mm. Whoa. Okay. This is kind of wild. Somebody said this. Who once said, I'm never through with a girl till I've had her three ways? Now this is a very surprising. This Say that one more time. Who once said, "I'll 
I'm never through with a girl till I've had her three ways. I'm never through famous. With a girl. I'm never through with a girl till I've had her three ways. Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> wow. This is this smoked and cured. <laughs> <laughs> right. A right. little bit of scampi. <laughs> 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 That's wow. No, oh, I I can believe that. No, no, he was a pig. Bill Clinton. <laughs> close. Bill Joey Clinton's James. close. <laughs> Mm. The oral office. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> First time ever when flavored cigars was introduced. <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the first flavored... Uh, <laughs> Michael, <Yanni>. Michael Obama. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> the Pope? <laughs> no, that'd be little boys. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Oh, Kelly got it. Kelly got it. Yep, JFK. I just blows me away, though. Why? He was over in Monroe coming in the back door. What are you talking about? Exactly. Hell, he, had her, he was bringing her in through the secret tunnel in the Rose Garden. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yep, JFK. Womanizer. Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> We know that's what you just said, Kelly, because we said you got it right first. Yeah, we did the credit. Somebody hit that doorbell. <laughs> Bird dogs right here. Right. I'm not sure how all this stuff ain't. I ain't had my lower third ain't worked in a few chats. It says it's on, but... Right. Yeah. I may not it's that big a deal. I surely most people know who I am now. But <laughs> right. Let's see here. Hey, gunmetal guy. Hey, what's up, gunmetal? What's up, what's up? Howdy. I'm going to get us another couple questions here. It's playing games with me again. Oh, that's what Kelly, she was talking to Iridium. She said that's what I said. Oh. oh. When she said that, because I just now called it Iridium, said Kennedy. Oh, and now I just now read it. She said that too. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to catch it sometimes because it just sets there, and I'll say, "Did you?" Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, I don't not. think any of us have turned our lower eye. No, um, I've had that problem like you have, TR, and I have to end up going out and come back in to get it to work. Oh, I ain't that important. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and mine just rides in the middle of the page. Isn't that weird? That's just weird. Yeah. It wasn't like that to start with, was no. it? No. Yeah, I think it's just the changes that kind of affect and all that. It's now his middle third. Yeah. <laughs> it's two thirds. Two thirds. <laughs> I have no idea, Justin, on what a horse goes for. 
I'd imagine there's a lot of meat on a horse. <laughs> well, I would imagine if it's a three hundred dollar horse, it's an old ass horse. Yeah. You better look forward to some jerky. So, yeah, so that's what right. I was gonna say. So it would be some tough ass fucking meat. But that being said, if unless he's lost a lot of weight, mm-hmm. there's always the back strap. <laughs> True that, and then the glue factory. Yeah, and and the uh, <clears throat> I I think I've told this story too before on here, but there's a restaurant that I saw on one of those exotic food channels in New York City that sells horse, hmm. horse tenderloin. So, and people has been eating horses since, you know, basically the beginning of time when they had to. Peaches said something about, well, I guess a lot of them have some kind of worm in them, whatever, I don't know. Said something about what? <coughs> some kind of, I, I can't pronounce the word, some kind of horse worm. Or something. I don't know. Ah. Hey, Mr. Bullet Points. Howdy, howdy. Oh, her horse in some other horse wormer. Yeah. In other words, I think the peel was worse than it having the parasite. <laughs> it probably so. Right. Yeah. yeah, that could be, yeah. Hey, PETA stands for people eating tasty animals. Sorry. Right. <laughs> That's what we call it anyway, right? Right. <laughs> and I agree with Justin. Fuck PETA. Oh, with, yeah, the exception right. of, with the exception of people eating tasty animals. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right. Peachy said something about it's a toxic warmer that you yeah, get. Okay. Uh, well, that's no good. She would know about horses. I don't know shit about them except for... Hmm. That if you get a temperamental one, the son of a bitch will reach back and try to bite you. Mm-hmm. Put, a, put those reins right between his ears real hard one time. He'll start paying attention to you again. <laughs> well, right. I'm sure horses eating in the world. Ain't no doubt about that. Well, you know, in the in the the days of the old west, you know, you get out there and you. You get in a bind and you can't find food. They would eat their damn horses. Mm-hmm. And the Indians ate their horses when the the after the most of the buffalo were slaughtered slaughtered when they couldn't find nothing else and it didn't kill them. Yeah, uh, spearman capture ain't got nothing to do with uh, being blocked or nothing like that. <laughs> we, we're not no. gonna no. block we you anyways, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we wouldn't block, block shit. Yeah, the capture gets us all. Hell, it, it gets us. Um, we'll be on the chat, and it gets us trying to chat in the comment section. So. Yeah, I got him on the phone here. It's actually not that, and I was mistaken on that. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. There's uh, some other issues going on with his channel due to some people acting like, you know, assholes. Okay, uh, great. Yeah. Oh, so they hitting him with uh, flagging him and shit? Yeah, and it, and it ain't even due to him. It's two other folks. It, I'm not going to put any more of his business in Yeah, this. yeah. Right, right. That's right. fine, that's fine, that's fine. Hi, Mike Delusia. Hi, Mike. Just send me an IFC spearman. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> it's good for the soul, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's so good to give. <laughs> I, I don't doubt it, Gun Metal. He said he got captured just trying to say hello. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> got you, driver. He just said he can't see the comments of anybody saying anything to him. Yeah, it blows. I thought I, I think I've watched every Little House in the Prairie episode 155 times because that's just my mom watched it 
when I was growing up, and she still watches it, and I don't ever remember the meat and horse, but I could be wrong. Get that again. I want, 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 want. <laughs> it probably would register better. Because I was like, it didn't click. I've, I've watched all the Little House on the Prairie episodes about 150 times a piece, and I've never seen them eat horse, and I've never seen them spit it out. Now, maybe in the books, they ate it and they spit it out. But not on the TV show. Not that I'm aware of. I had, I mean, lived, breathed, Little House on the Prairie my whole life. Mom watched it every time it was on. She still does. Yeah, I don't remember him ever eating a horse in that one either. But <clears throat> I didn't read the book, so. Matter of fact, when I was watching the episodes, I didn't even realize there was a series of books about it. Yeah, you know, until it was like it was practically it was over with, and somebody mentioned, "Well, well fuck, now I watched every episode 150 times, like you said." So right. Yeah. I'm not gonna read the book. Yeah, the the book varies quite a bit. You know, he made up a lot of that shit, but um, I, yeah, I read the books probably about ten years ago. They were pretty good. <laughs> don't make me watch it again. <laughs> right. Yeah, I remember watching them. It just kind of seemed like they come on after school. I forget when they came on, but it was like they just wasn't nothing else on for kids to watch. I mean, it was just that was right. like it, you know at that time that was the only thing you know. Mm -hmm. Whenever it came on, I won't say it came on after school, like you know, three, four o'clock in the afternoon or something like that. No, I can't remember. I can't either. But they're on to this day, you know. That and the Waltons, and I love the Waltons. Yeah, it might even been at night when they played it. You know, I don't know. I really don't remember. I know the Waltons was, or if I'm not mistaken. The uh, four twenty. Later, later. I guess his name is Justin. I'll have to get used to yeah. that. Yeah, his, his name is Justin. All right. Oh. Later, Justin. Yep. I think, was that your stuff that said something about thunder? Yeah, we've had a... It was a decent day for the little trip I took, but shortly after I got over here this evening, it started raining and we've had a little bit of thundering going on. Don't Fingers crossed. Know. Fingers crossed, you know, the internet will stay up. But right. Oh, okay, I got you. Well, okay, I yeah. yeah this I was going to say when I got off work and get off, I got off about eight thirty. In about five or ten minutes from leaving the house, matter of fact, I, I swung by a Walmart. Was going to run in there and check see if it had a, a computer component. Didn't think it would, and they didn't. The bottom dropped out. I was in Walmart in you know real high roof. And it was all you could hear was, and I was like, damn, I asked one of the sales guys, where do y'all keep y'all's umbrellas at? <laughs> <laughs> so I brought a, bought an umbrella on the way out. That's the only thing I bought. And I still got soaked from my waist down because it was coming in sideways. And I ended up driving about 25 to 35 miles an hour. All, well, about half to three-quarter way home. It took me an hour and a half to get home. Because it was raining so hard, the roads were just flooding. It couldn't even get off the road fast. Sure. Yeah. And it's dark, too, you know. One time I was coming out of a grocery store, and all the power was out. And I actually, I mean, that there was standing water on the ground, and it was just pouring the rain. And I actually had to wait for lightning to strike to see where my truck was parked. <laughs> and then when I put the key in, I got electrocuted. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good old days. <laughs> Driver says they're stuck on just showing me. Yeah, you are, but I ain't. I ain't. I'm not clicked on it. Well, no, there I go now. 
Hmm. Well, I had our trivia pulled up, but uh, for some reason the site's messed up and it won't let me go to any more trivia, so... Try to save America's Liberty. Yeah, Happy anytime. Howdy. We appreciate y'all letting us know when we get stuck like that. Let us know if it gets stuck on somebody, because... I got the chat pulled up, but I got the video part of it covered up. Me with, too. Yeah. You know, I've just got the just the comments to the side, so I don't ever see that it's on the up. It's not showing that you got me highlighted or anything, so I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, it, it's, it's switching now, I think. Or it did just for a second there. I don't know. I don't know. It's stuck on you now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nope, there's no. I, I start to say there's dish, but that's our our window. That's this flipping. Hey, it's just it's, uh, when I'm looking at it now, and it's just going back and forth to me and Michelle, and I'm not even saying shit to make it come to me. Mm -hmm. Click on and click off of Michelle. Maybe it'll unlock. Have you clicked on me in here? Yeah. You're not even showing you've done that on my end. Nah, it's just Google messing up, I guess. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm clicked on you. Now I'm clicked on TR. Mm -hmm. Clicked on myself. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I guess this is Johnny Dunn. So. <laughs> right. Got the floor, man. Okay. Oh, wait, it flipped the stump. It did change one time. Right? Okay, it's, yeah, it's flipping. That must be, well, that's probably the lag. That's where Michelle was clicking on everybody. Yeah, might be. Maybe that'll straighten it out. Thunder, lightning, at the stumps. Thunder. We don't need you to laugh. Keep it there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the video that I shared on Facebook of the the, the hillbilly uh, band doing? Yes, thunder? that was. With, fun. with the, that, that old boy was hitting that damn banjo like hell, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, Perfect. it was. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> so no shirt, Liberty overalls, and right. giving that damn banjo hell, boy. He, he was working it. Right. <laughs> cool. Night, Buckeye. Later, Buckeye. Good night. Thank you good for night, joining us. <laughs> oh Lord. What? What did I miss? <laughs> I'm just reading the uh, stump story of the day. I thought my day was interesting. It wasn't, though. Not compared to that. <laughs> wow. I didn't get done. I didn't have no fun compared to that. <laughs> <laughs> Brian said he's hitting two banjos every time he hears one, he gets the hell out, <laughs> basically. <laughs> right? Yeah, definitely. If you're in the woods and hear banjos, you're already a shit creep. Mm hmm. Yeah, you might as well just bend over and start squealing. <laughs> <laughs> I would just hear a banjo. I'm just going to start shooting in that general direction. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, that deliverance really wouldn't have happened if it was... That's why they didn't do it that way. They, those guys went from the south because they'd all been packing guns. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> would have been one guy with a Damn. bow. <laughs> bow and arrows, right? Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. And then it wouldn't have been a movie, so, you know. <laughs> True. 
But yeah, I could have went without the rape scene. Otherwise, <laughs> it was a pretty good movie, though. <laughs> right. You know when he got squealed, too. Because yeah. he went from just squealing to oh, squeal. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was already dead and he wanted to go over and beat the shit out of him. Yeah. Don't tell anybody about this, guys. I don't want anybody to know about this. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike says, hey, Johnny, it's almost that time of the year. That's right. Getting close to the roll tide time. Oh, we blues in the house. Hey, blue. Hey, blue. Oh, oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bullet Points. I said, hey, a while ago, didn't I? Mm, that's okay. You were working <laughs> on your trip, yeah. He had a stupid site. Well, it still won't let me in there. Remember earlier what it was doing? It wouldn't let yeah. me drop down. Doing that again. So that was a good. That was a good trivia site too. Hope to maybe to write some of them down or something. Print them out or something. Let me go get another little computer. I got a site saved on there. Hold on one second. Hey, Barker Bob. Me and Banker Bob 59. What's up? What's going on, man? Hey, Jack. You pick That's right, Jack. Roll tight. And Jeff, it ain't nothing wrong with LSU in, in Florida being second and third fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying there's a few people checking in with us. Oh, okay. I, unless I missed her comments. I didn't see Jack and Blue checked in. Oh, I, well, yeah, um, Jack's been in here for a while. Oh, has he? Okay, my yeah. bad. That's okay. Hmm. <laughs> right? It's hit, that song is sticking your head. Yeah, they will too. <clears throat> Susan has never heard of deliverance. Oh, my really? lord, girl. Wow. Hmm. It blues up to 448. It's getting close to his 500. Cool, dude. Awesome. That's what it shows when you hover over them anyway. Right. It says you got to take the kitties to the zoo in the morning. So it's calling it early night. <laughs> Well, I thought I did. Gunmetal asks, TR, do you carry a rain suit on your bike for downpours? Yes, I do. Hey, they talk in. 
Yeah, that's what I just answered him as you were saying that. Yeah, I always carry a. I got uh, frog dog, frog cogs, the, the pants. <laughs> oh yeah. And the uh, my jacket has a rain liner in it that I I can take out. Yeah. Uh, if it's raining, I'll just put the rain liner in and in the frog dog pants. They keep you pretty dry. I mean, if it now like that little downpour I went through on the way home, if I was on the bike, I'd have still got soaked. Uh, I'd probably been pouring water out of my boots even with a rain suit on. <laughs> Because it'll find the little cracks and crevices and little weak spots in that soup. That one little bitty hole, it'd be a gallon of water pouring in it, you know? Right. <laughs> if it's coming down that hard. The token wants me to put a uh, bikini bottom on the back of my chair. <laughs> That's a, a big bikini bottom. <laughs> right. And it looks pretty wide from here, anyways. <laughs> You do that, soup is going to be begging you to get out of the chair all the time so you can look at it. Uh, yep. Uh, he would. Yep. <laughs> well, I didn't say I was, I just said it the storm and all. I didn't say I was on my bike or truck either one, but I was in my truck on the way home. Because <laughs> there was, this morning before I left to work, they were talking about how it was raining and showing the radar and all that. And I was more afraid about getting stuck and getting caught in rain on the way to work than on the way home. But I don't care if I really get wet on the way home because I can just strip off my clothes, take a shower, and ain't no big deal. But on the way, I don't want to walk around for 12 hours with wet underwear and socks. And, you know. <laughs> it sucks. Gun metal said he was he's trying to get dressed for work and listen to his favorite entertainment jammy time. Cool. Awesome. Think about rain on the bike. Unless you kind of foresee it and already have your stuff on, it can like hit in that just few hundred feet that it takes to turn off the road and find some kind of shelter to get your rain gear on, you're already soaked. Oh yeah. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> yep. yep. Like TR was saying just a minute ago, it don't matter how good a rain suit you got, how much money you spend on it. I mean, it it just don't matter. It, you're still going to get wet. Yeah. yeah. If it's just a little, you know, light rain, normal rain, ain't too bad. But if it's like just torrentious downpour, I know one night or one day I was leaving work and uh, I didn't have, it was raining. I didn't have, a, at that time, I didn't have the rain bottoms, you know, pants. I just had, like, chaps. And uh, now my, uh, you know, my jacket, I had a rain liner in it, but all I had was the chaps. And as long as I was moving, it'd keep you pretty dry. But just pulling out of the parking lot to the road, it was raining so hard, it was hitting my helmet and running down, and it fell right in my lap. And before I pulled out, I was already soaked to, to my underwear, my feet were getting wet. It was just pouring down in my boots. And when yeah, I got it's... home, I mean, I literally pulled my boots off and poured the water out. Wow. <laughs> wow. Good night, Jerry. Good night. TR, I know you know this one. You don't go to Walmart and buy the, like, Starns or Sterns, you know, the, the fishing rain suit. Yeah. Because you just got those two vents right here on your chest. At about 20 mile an hour, it swells up. Looks like those uh, old World War II life jackets. <laughs> right up in the air. I mean, yeah, it, you're drowning. You're going to end up in a ditch because you can't even look down because you're getting your head pushed straight up from it. <laughs> I know a boy made that mistake. <laughs> the frog dogs work pretty good, actually. I. I... And they stow away real small. You can really squeeze them up pretty small. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, what team are you talking about? Because <clears throat> I was unaware Massachusetts had a, had a uh, a college football team that would even be in the same league. Just saying. <laughs> Unless you're doing some out of state rooting or something. <laughs> 
drivers is when wear a new pair of blue jeans and your legs will be blue. Yeah, that's what I saw. That's right. true. <laughs> that's true if you hadn't washed them mm-hmm. for the first time. Yep. It's tinchy blue. You look like you came to a smurf for a little while. <laughs> mm hmm. Heck, my phone, I've got a otter box on it that I got. It's rubber. And even the jeans I have on, I've washed a million times. And I still put it in my back pocket. And when I take my phone out, you can see the blue that comes. It still rubs on my phone. I have to keep wiping the back of my phone off. Mm hmm. He said Auburn. Yeah. Well, you just, you're just reaching because you know I hate Auburn. <laughs> and shit. I'm just gonna leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be saying some violent things about Auburn up in here. The token needs some disorno, however you pronounce it, disorno. All right. <laughs> the token says pass the DeSorono. I'm fresh out. DeSorono. Okay, that's it. I was saying it wrong. DeSorono, is it? Yeah. Amaretto, you know, whatever. Kind it's, of. it's an Amaretto type shit, yeah. yeah. Really, boy, in blue. I know Monsanto has been working on that. They've been even trying to put patents on organic seeds, like just normal seeds. Like they have a patent on a regular freaking seed that's been around for centuries. Wow. How, how can that, how you do that? <coughs> Money. <laughs> Good <Got metal. laughs> mm. <coughs> Hiding spot, here I come. Be right back. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> he says he's going to try. Yeah. I know the feeling. I've been at it many a time. Just <laughs> them son of a bitches, why they keep calling me? <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I'll have to look into that. That's, that'd be a pretty big story. I know they. Well, never mind. Anyway, bacon. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bacon on the rocks. <laughs> Lots of rocks. According to the token, uh, De Serono on the rocks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I remember that guy doing those commercials all the time. Mike, he's, Mike or Mike says uh, been rooting for Auburn for years. Well, I'm I'm sorry for your lack of taste. Oh <laughs> <laughs> boy! That's what makes Johnny so good in here, man. He just sugarcoats everything, you know. Yeah. And shit. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm such a nice guy, right? <laughs> yeah, he takes all that into consideration. 
Oh, yeah. Good night, Susan. This is a very good sport when it comes to college and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, very. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, if you want to have a rival, you might as well stick to your guns. And <laughs> yep. I don't know how it is in other states, but I know Stump knows it. And I'm in. In South Carolina, it's Clemson, Carolina. Man, that's like the biggest rivalry that wide I'm familiar with. And I'm sure other states are the same way with their, you know, teams. See you, oh, yeah. Susan. That is the, that's the big game around here every mm -hmm. year, man. <laughs> Peachy says she keeps a bottle of Amaretta by the coffee pot in the kitchen. <laughs> right on, girl. <laughs> Not too not too long ago, I used to keep a bottle of Jameson's by the coffee pot in the kitchen. Yes, sir. That's good stuff. Hey, oh, yeah. I don't like the taste of amaretto very much. That's the one. If you put a take a shot of it mm -hmm. and pour it in a beer, it tastes like Dr Pepper. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Kind of a flat Dr. Pepper, but still has to taste like Dr. Pepper. Right. Mike says he will be nice. It's okay. You know, y'all <laughs> catch a fluke game every about three or four seasons. It's all good. <laughs> And I went to, uh, when I was in Ireland, went into this liquor store there in the, uh, the like, the, the duty-free area of the airport. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was, I was like, I'm going to get me a bottle of Jameson, you know, fuck, you know, getting it, it, just for the sake of buying it in Ireland as opposed to here, you know. Like, yeah. But here, here, over here, unless you're in a, uh, like I guess you call it an upscale store. You basically all you see is like seven year James, seven year old Jamesons. Mm -hmm. They had some thirty seven year old Jamesons sitting there, and I was like, oh, I'm so gonna get a bottle of this. And I reached and picked it up, and I was like, Wait, how much is this? And I go, Holy shit! Set it right back down and walk off. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was over two hundred dollars a bottle. Oh, in Ireland, in the duty free shop. <laughs> but it, but can you imagine how good it would have been at thirty seven years old? Oh man! Oh my God! And I'm not even a whiskey drink, drinker, people. On, on, on the for real side of it, I, I like a little bit of whiskey every once in a while. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I, if I'd have been able to afford just to piss away two hundred something dollars on a bottle of whiskey, I probably would have drank that whole damn thing. Right by my damn self. <laughs> I wouldn't have shared none of it. I didn't mean sipping the or or spiking the hell out of my coffee every morning with. <laughs> Bama buys everything and everyone. <coughs> hey, if you can't you can't afford the good coaches. Don't be mad at the ones that can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do this Google stuff. What are you trying to do? Uh, Blue said he couldn't share that link with Peachy. And so I thought I'd copy it and share it with her, but I, mean, I ain't ever done that, so I don't know how to do it. Just go to her Google Plus page and post it on her page, just like you do with Facebook. Yeah, I think I just did it public, but I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, 
I don't see where you can. Um, I don't like say I don't use Google Plus. So I don't know. I've never tried to do anything with it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't see anywhere where I can write anything other than commenting on a video. Put the uh, <coughs> put the link in the in the internal. Okay. And I'll see what I can figure out. Unless you. No, that's fine. Figured it out or whatever. I mean, no, I don't. Like I said, I don't use Google Plus. So. I ain't trying to take over. I'm no, just, by all means, if you can send that to her, send it to her, because I don't have a clue. The only thing I use Google Plus is, is I open it up to get the uh, link to the Hangouts. That's the only time I open up Google Plus. <laughs> right. Excuse me. Okay, while you guys are doing that, all right, guys, here's what we're going to do. We hadn't done a giveaway in a little while, and um, so we're going to do a little one tonight. It's not a real big one, but we're going to do something. But instead of rolling the balls, we're just going to do guessing our number. I like when we do that, but you know, I like the balls too, but I like when we guess the number. So, 69. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, that's my number. Get off that number. You gotta find another one. That's Michelle's number. We're gonna give away, and it's not a pair of pads, but it's the fishing grenade. <laughs> I'll make sure I clear that up. I was just There's, asking then. <laughs> yeah. Well, Simba said that today in his video that he made for Jamie Tom stuff. He said pair pad. And I'm like, no, why don't we send you a pad, man? I was like, no. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a fishing kit. Well, at least it wasn't a pair of pond. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that one you could have used for a bloody nose or something, you know, at least. So we're gonna give that away, and then we have if it's a male or female, whichever wins. We have our Jamie Tom keychains, greens for the boys and pinks for the girls, and then we have our bumper sticker and our magnets that we will send to you. So we're gonna let um we're gonna let Tr pick the number and he can put it in the internal, and then we'll just keep an eye on. Oh look, Jeff's already put 57 in. <laughs> Just hold up, we ain't we ain't said it yet, but these grenades are really cool. So do they have anything of, in them, or are they just pair? They're pair full of fish and stuff, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they got matches. fishing kits in them. That's what Bone I was fishes. They got matches, compasses, fishing hooks, and weights. <laughs> you mess cool. with me, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, and it's you got a big sheet of aluminum foil too, so you can cook on it if you need to, or you can fix it where you can put water and and you know you can make your fire and everything with it. <laughs> nope. that, that's pretty cool. That's a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> yep. I There's tell you what, I mean, really, it. if you even if it was a little bit bigger, if you pack enough stuff in one of those, that'd almost be better than one of those Altoid can, cans, because then you got a lot of paracord to go with it, too. True that, true that. Yeah. yeah. Right, and you take the, you take the uh, paracord out of it, and as some of you might know, some of you might not know, is there's, there's a little piece of fishing line hooked to the hook in here, but you take the center of the paracord out, you pull it out and you make your fish in line with that. So for some of you that don't know how to do it. So anyway. I see that. Driver, he says seventy seven is better than sixty nine. Why? Because you get eight more. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's a good one, driver. You guys might as well not be guessing numbers right now though. <laughs> <laughs> Not what? Stop! Yet. Slow down, people. We well, I was gonna say, what's the range? You know, one to fifty, one to hundred. We'll say one to hundred. 
Uh, damn, well, they be, I'll try to pick something they hadn't picked yet and say I can start over again. Um, okay. All right, go. <laughs> Racism. All right, so let's pick the number, guys. One through a hundred. It's a number between one. You can guess as many times as you want to. <laughs> Minus 38. Only in the under time. Pissing me off. Yes, yes, Izzy, go ahead and start. And if you didn't see the answer to your question, AZ, Michelle made that. Grenade? A grenade, yes. Well, we got one. Where that? Sick man. Sick man. Sick man one? Yep. Sick right man on. 99. Awesome. I had somebody saw it because my comments went ape shit stupid on me there and I ain't seen shit. Yep, sick, sick man won it, and uh, I got your address already, so I don't need your address. It was 68. Number 68. Yep, the number was 68. They're still putting them in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that lag is a bitch. Yeah. Poor Kelly, now she put 68 in. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> Jeff, hut, hut, hike. 21, 98, 99, 56, 68, hut, hut, right. hike. <laughs> That's about what it sounds like. Calling code on the football field. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. That's cool. My, my comments froze up again. Good God damn it! I say in your, I say your comment. Yeah, yeah, sick yeah. man wins. Yeah, I was trying to make That's you awesome. do something, but it. <laughs> um. Yeah, I might have answered it, but did you make those, Michelle? <laughs> I, I, like I said, mm -hmm. I walked away. I didn't. I figured you did. But. Yeah, she made them. <laughs> yeah, I made them. Cool. Yeah, they're kind of tricky. Yep. I can honestly say she done a pretty damn good job on them, too. Thank you, Stomp. So I assume you got your Jamie Time stuff too. I didn't. I uh, mentioned it and said thank you again in the, the comments while ago. Oh. Yeah, Blue. Anyway, I just make sure everybody got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, yeah, it's awesome, and I thank you, ma'am, very much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Mike Delucia said, What comes after 69? Mouthwash. <laughs> There is a 68 um, sick man. It's a 68 and I owe you one. <laughs> Great. 68 and I owe you one, man. AZ asks, are you selling those little fishing pair grenades things? Um, yes, actually, I am going to try to sell some of them. I've had several people ask me about them. And, um,. I'm going to sell them any, anywhere from 10 to $15 a piece because of shipping. So, yeah. If you're interested in any, just PM me. 
if anybody's interested in them, it, the money's going towards jammy time, so it's not towards it's not for me, but it's towards jammy time to help mail out prizes and stuff like that. Yeah, I started to say because yeah. that ain't much profit there. I know this yeah. is on you, you making just, that paracord stuff is time consuming. Even if you get it where you knock it out, it's still time you got your supplies, time. <laughs> yeah, because this hard, we got those um. Strike anywhere matches in there, and we—it's hard to find those things unless you order them. You yeah. know, oh, so right. them things and, are really hard to find. And just did you? I want a question. I, I was going to ask too. Did you put the strike anywhere matches in a uh, like a little Ziploc packet or anything to keep them from getting wet? No, just put them in the thing. Right. So just so y'all know, when you get them, they're not—they're not weatherproof. It's only wrapped in tin foil. So even a strike anywhere match gets wet, it you know falls apart. Hey, I tell you what you do, Michelle. I mean, it, it, it's not a hundred percent all the time, but uh, take candle wax and dip, dip, melt some candle wax and dip those matches down into the candle wax, and that'll weatherproof them to a good, good degree. Mm -hmm. well, that's a that's good all, idea. That's all weather. That's all weatherproof matches are. They just got a damn wax coating on. Okay. And then when you strike it, that wax will move to the side and it'll light anyway. So. Um, AZ, I'm sorry. AZ was asking, is that so free shipping? If I sell them for fifteen dollars a piece, the shipping will be free. But if I sell them for ten dollars, you know, they'll you got to include some for shipping. So I said fifteen bucks, I think, would be a good price for them. Cause you have to buy the. You have to buy the carabiners that are on them, which we've got some other hooks too that we bought. The, some of them's got carabiners on them, and then they got compasses inside. They got the fishing hooks. They got the um, weights. There's four hooks in there, plus the matches and the paracord itself. So that's, you know, mm -hmm. if you add all that together, I mean, it is it is costly once you're making them. Cause oh, really? gosh knows that just ordering the, I just had to order some more compasses because we ran out, and um they're not real expensive but it takes forever for them to get here. But the matches and thank goodness you know Stump's gonna hook us up with some matches because we could um dish ordered some off eBay and had them sent to me since I was making them, and they got delivered to some house somewhere. We don't know where they got delivered, but it didn't get delivered here. So we lost out on the strike anywhere matches because I don't know who's got them. I don't know where to post them and put them out. So luckily Stump's gonna hook us up, and that's gonna help out with them too. But yeah. Hey, do you need any uh, small clasp for like bracelets? Not not this size you made me, but like the, the smaller ones. Well, not that small, but anyhow, size blue like what you made me. Yeah. Cause yeah, I, I could use I, class. I screwed up. <laughs> I ordered some, and I wasn't paying attention to the number I ordered. I think I got a bag of like a hundred of them. So I was like, "What the hell am I going to do with a hundred of them?" I looked back at the order, and I was like, "Yeah, I ordered a hundred of them. Well, I don't know what I." Yeah, you don't. I just thought don't I was ordering like this 10. Way. <laughs> I wasn't paying oh, attention, yeah. and add some bunch of stuff on the cart, and wouldn't. I mean, it didn't cost that much, so it didn't like flag up when I the price, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got to really look at that stuff. Next time I send something to you, I'll send you a bag of them. Cool. That'll yeah. work. AZ's asking, have you done a video on the uh, paragrenade fishing thingy? I I haven't done one. Um, my little ones just went to their daddy's for this week. So I'm gonna do it this week now that I got my new camera and stuff. I can. I'm gonna work on a video to that's, show them. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's my goal. Yeah, because I sent Joe Prophet, even though he's not in the comments. Joe Prophet watches us on his tablet, but he can't comment. Mm -hmm. But he always shares Jamie time, and he's and me and him talk back and forth on Facebook. And I sent him one, and he really liked it. And he he has told me like ten different times, "You really need to sell these, Michelle. You can really try to sell them and you know make some money off of them." So I'm gonna definitely do a video. 
and try. Later, Mr. B. Night, Mr. B. And Jeff's out of here, too, looks like. So. Later, dude. Yeah. Later. Just look for a video this week, guys, and I'll, I'll get one up. So I gotta make a whole bunch more. I've probably made about twenty of them so far. You say that comment, sick man made Johnny. I, I don't know. I, I'm working this weekend, so if something happened, I missed it. About Tony Stewart. Yeah, I, I didn't see what it. I saw the comment and I asked him what was up with it, but uh, I, I don't know what he's talking about. I hadn't seen nothing. Not me return. My t our TV ain't been on in like four days. Yeah. Where are they racing this weekend? That I don't know either. Yeah. Uh, I, can look I got it set weekend. up to record. I do try to watch. I, that's about the only thing that I do watch on a regular basis as far as sports. Is a, I watch NASCAR. I'm not into it like I used to be, but I do enjoy watching it. I like watching it, too. Mm -hmm. If I know when it's going to be on. I love going to the NASCAR races. They're a blast. Yeah, I've been to... I've been to two, and oh my god, I, I enjoyed the hell out of it. Did you get to go camping? No. Okay. I yeah. just there for the the race and left. Yeah. yeah, it's still fun. Don't get me wrong. I went to a bunch of them like that before I went started going camping, but I haven't been in a few years. But yeah, I got to where I was going camping, and man, that is a lot of fun. It says that um, police investigating a sprint car incident reportedly involving Tony Stewart. Hmm. By Fox News. On the track incident or out in town? That's what I'm fixing to see. I watched him Glenn. I actually like the road courses, so yeah, I definitely have to, I got it set up to record. So I saw yeah. Junior one. Uh, did a Pocono sweep. Yep. Last week or week before last, mm -hmm. whenever the fuck it was, I get tossed up because I don't have I don't have cable. All I got is the antenna TV, so I rarely get to see a race. Mm -hmm. It just says that um, Ontario County and New York Sheriff's Department confirmed to Fox Sports Saturday night that is in investigating an incident that occurred during a dirt track race in. Some town in New York, I can't say the name, Canada, New York, Sports and Motorsports Park, reportedly involving three time NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, Tony Stewart, and another driver. Mm. Just says it talks about how he bumped them, the right rear tire went down, he spun to an exit in turn two. Kevin got out of his car, he was throwing his arms up all over the place at Tony for the most of the corner. Kevin Harvey. It just said Kevin. Probably Kevin, Kevin Harvey. Kevin Tony, Tony probably, Tony probably stumped his ass. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I don't says, like Tony Stewart, Stewart, but I hate fucking Kevin Harvey even worse. <laughs> it says Kevin Ward. It says an oh, unconfirmed okay. report. Uh, Stewart was involved in an on-track incident with driver Kevin Ward. When Stewart's car allegedly striking Ward after he got out of his car to confront Stewart. So I guess he hit him with the car. Wow. Contact well, between two. If you're from the south, if it's a dirt track and they wasn't right. a fight, so they, they called the race off. Right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it was raining so hard they didn't want to get out of the car. <laughs> but if the green flag flew, there was a fight before the night was over with. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. <laughs> Hell, if there wasn't, folks were demanding their money back at the gate on the way home. I've only been to a couple. There used to be a Riverside was right up the road here. I went to a few of them. A buddy of mine was racing. And I'd always heard that, even though I grew up around here, I would did never go to those races. I went to Greenville Pickens a good bit, but not the dirt tracks. And, uh, and it's like every time I turn around, I like, son of a bitch, I'm gonna get in the damn fight. Here I'm trying to be over here, I'm way not mind my own business. But you know, like the guy I went with it, this racing, or you know, went with him and his girl, whatever. Sure enough, there's some kind of altercation, you know. <laughs> 
They get off the track and the helmets start flying and fist. And <laughs> um, to answer your question, Aaron Watkins Glen this weekend. Yeah. Yes, I seen that. Yeah, that's cool. I like I like the road courses myself. But. I actually remember seeing Richard Perry win his last race. I was kind of young. Not really young, though. Reagan was president. And there. <laughs> right. I, I need some. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, about three BLT sandwiches would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't I ain't get fed again today. Oh God. I told you this is my week vacation from the kids and I'm not cooking every night. So go ahead and do that in front of no night. It ain't gonna matter. No night. It matter. She think cause she on the fucking diet eating salads that everybody's supposed to have salad. You want a salad? No. Okay. I'll fix you wouldn't interested in no rabbit food. I wish I had some beer bread. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit of butter in the freezer. Right? Oh my gosh! There's so much meat in the freezer. You better go get you a pack out now. I'd, I'd send it over with butter on it. Mm -mm. There's a whole jar of peanut butter up there. Go have some of that. With you. <laughs> <laughs> You want a spoon with it? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> See, Peachy said she'd feed me. She got fresh mm -hmm. tomatoes on the, on the fridge and cast iron on the stove. <laughs> Stunk you all right. You know, and my, my favorite is on, extra chunky, too, so that just really... Oh, oh yeah. That's just nasty. I love it. Mm, extra chunky. Mm. Oh. Hey, hey, and Jiff is Jiffier. Right on. Just saying. That's terrible. Peanuts get caught in places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would. Oh, my word. I can't knock my mouse off. Wants to play with a mouse. Right. Oh, Lord. Mm. Oh, some eggs and grits and toast and bacon. That sounds so good. Yeah, it does. Gosh, we need to go to Waffle House so bad, but we're so poor. We're so okay. fucking broke, it's unreal. <laughs> yeah, this is a broke week for sure. Selling Oregon. <laughs> right? <laughs> they wouldn't want none on. God gave us two kidneys. And I need both of them, because... I need to work it. Yep. They say it's actually worse on the donator than it is on the person getting the kidney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it so is. screw that. <laughs> yeah. It is. And the testing that you have to go through to donate is completely outrageous. Megan was going to donate a kidney. And, what? Um, yeah. She was going to... She was on the... I had somebody that I knew that um, was going through kidney failure, but oh, he couldn't okay. stop drinking. Oh. And Megan was a match, 
and she was going to give one of her kidneys up, but um, because she's stupid. She she went through a bunch of the the prep testing and all the blood work and all the stuff you have to do, and you can't take certain meds, you can't take any medicines, you can't you can't be on anything, no birth control, no nothing like that. It it was just she eventually changed her mind about it. Probably a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because she went and got in the navy. Yeah, well, you know, and the guy's like got kidney failure and he ain't quit drinking yet. I mean, what's the point? Yep. He's steadily drinking vodka every single day, straight. I mean, I smoke and I drink, but, you know, if it come down to a health issue, well, guess what? I got to change some things, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. He was just crazy because we got all the paperwork and we had to read all, you know, you had certain things you could and couldn't do, and it was just crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so... Oh, I definitely wouldn't do it then, because I'm in love with garlic. Screw that all hell. <laughs> right. I like garlic on all, all, all my food. Oh, yes, yeah. he does. Nobody's yeah. getting my kidney. Screw that. Garlic <laughs> lover. Mm. Hey, I read, since we're talking about food, somehow we always go there. <laughs> but kidney straight to food. <laughs> kidney beans. <I'm> starving. <laughs> uh, I read an article, and it... And it, and it it really clicked with me because I can't eat cilantro. Uh, I mean, I can, but it tastes like dirt. It's horrible. Yeah, and I read an article. It affects people in different ways. To some people, and I'm sure this is something about cilantro was different. That some people's like almost to the point that your body rejected it or whatever. It wasn't just that it tasted bad to us. Some people love cilantro, and some people just cannot, you know, I mean, like you said, it tastes like dirt. Some people, it tastes like soap. If they eat it, it actually tastes like soap to them. But it's something in it that reacts different to different people. And I was like, well, damn, that makes sense, because no matter how hard I've tried, it tastes like dirt every time to me. Well, well, it don't taste like dirt, but I know when somebody puts it in something, and I don't like it. I mean, if it's just a little in some kind of sauce or something, I may not notice it. But, you know, like that, um, they call it something, uh, whatever. It's kind of like, you know, like Mexican dip where it's like real raw the, and chunky. The sauce. Or, yeah, yeah, you know, where it's, you just see the cilantro all over it. Yeah, yeah. If I put it in my mouth, it tastes like I just took a spoonful of dirt. Wow. Yeah. But like I said, the article I read, some people it tastes like soap. Okay. Like ivory soap. Some people... Dirt, you know, just you know, and then some other people just think it's like a herb, you know. It was kind of interesting. It made sense to me because I eat about anything. It's like, man, I cannot stand cilantro. I just, <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Well, I didn't know that part of it, but I don't like it either. I mean, I see that stuff and I'm like, whoa, overkill. I don't know. I don't know how it would taste to me because I never tried it right by itself. But I've had it in the dips and shit you're talking about. But usually I'm drinking fucking frozen margaritas and lots of beer, so I don't notice. Well, <laughs> well like I said, it, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't that something was wrong with people if it did or didn't. It's just that it affected some people different, and it's like their body just it just didn't register right in their taste buds for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. And I guess I was one of those people. And, and like I said, maybe a little bit in something I don't really notice it, but just that. Where, where people make the sauce where they just like, they just cut up tomatoes and cut up cilantro and cut up onion, and it's not even a sauce. It's just almost, it almost looks like a salad. Mm-hmm. You know, that that kind of, that's one I really, because you see the cilantro all in it. I mean, it's really heavy in it. It's like, it's fresh. It's like salsa without the juice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's called queso. Yeah, there you go. And driver said he thought it, his wife was just being crazy because she said it tastes like soap too. Yep, exactly. I thought you know, I just read this like last week and I found it really interesting. I was like, well, damn, you know, like a little light bulb went off. Well, there you go. That's why I can't eat the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Peachy says it smells like wet dog to her. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 
Dirt <laughs> I think we all know what dirt tastes like because yeah. of that. I'm pretty sure it tastes like what it smells like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know? I went nose first in the dirt many a times off a bicycle, swing, you know. Dirt, <laughs> right, right. Yep. Yeah, I've eaten my share of dirt and gravel. <laughs> or as a young and had it thrown in your face when you yeah. down there throwing dirt clods at each other? Yep, yeah. my eyes throwing them right. at you. Not necessarily on purpose, but I'm pretty sure right. everybody's tasted dirt at one point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe even drinking a little too much staggered fall. You weren't gonna tell them kind of truth. <laughs> <now. laughs> <laughs> mm. Might have covered ten or twenty feet before I finally hit the ground, but I was working on it the whole way. <laughs> right. Right. Nope. Stagger, 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 fall. <laughs> yeah, not proud of it, but I've been a pinball a few times bouncing off shit trying to get my balance. <laughs> Peachy says she was pulling it up and giving it to a local restaurant because she couldn't kill it. Because she had made the mistake of planting some at one time. Yes. Wow. Well. Oops, I spelled that wrong. <laughs> salads, cookies, salads, right, cookies. Right, right. Oh, I know what you're talking about. You ain't have to say. Right? Yeah. She down here shuffling in the kitchen now. <laughs> uh-huh. You ain't trying to say she's cheating on her diet, are you? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that because then I'd be she'd call me a liar whether it was true or not. <laughs> <laughs> she's eating a banana, that's what it is. That's why she turned the camera on. <laughs> right. She's like, I'm serious this time, Dish. I mean it. <laughs> I'm like, don't eat that cookie. Put it down. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You can't delete that comment. <laughs> oh damn! Man. Oh well. I didn't spell it right, so it doesn't count. <laughs> but you spelled it like she says it. Dah. Dah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's a beach. He said, laughing my ass off, Johnny. I told her the grits were in the cabinet. <laughs> yep, they were in the cabinet. I don't think she got grits, though. I don't know what the hell she got. But... She was what does it matter what I got? See? See what I told you? Yes, what I got. Bowl peanuts. Uh... I was going to ask you guys what those tasted like, just to see if anybody had ever tried them. Oh, hell yeah. They're delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I was saying. She, don't, she ain't got a clue, man. I, I see it. them all the time in the store, and I'm like, I wonder if anybody you know, from the chat's ever tried any of that stuff. It's in the that that brand right there. Hold that up again. These are addicting. What's the name of Peanut Patch? Peanut Patch, yeah, that's the ones. Those are the best ones. I don't know if I've had them out of a can like that. But I, yeah. that looks like a name brand. That that kind of looks like. Here locally, they uh, a lot of little gas stations that have like little crock pots to the side. And mm -hmm. you can just, you know, buy a cup of them or whatever. 
Really? These are like a dollar a can, and I buy like five and six cans at a time, and the kids will just suck them down. Oh, around here, Dish, there's a, they're like, especially in the summertime, tourism season and stuff mm -hmm. like that, there's these little, uh, people make like these little trailer-like things, and they'll have these huge cauldrons, mm -hmm. you know, big stainless steel pots, mm -hmm. and they just, I don't know, have hundreds of pounds of boiled peanuts in them. And you buy big old styrofoam cups for my hand. Well, that's awesome. It's like, you know, man. Yeah, like three dollars and five dollars. Yeah. I need to go to the south. Yep. I told you you need to move south. Yeah, yeah I love mm -hmm. some bold peanuts. I can make myself sick eating them damn things. <laughs> hey, it's so good. We, we used to have, when we used to have the craw crawfish bowl, mm -hmm. we'd have another set up with a big old pot full of fresh bold peanuts cooking over there. To go, you know, to be snacking on while the crawfish and the corn and taters and shit's getting done. I bought me some grits the other day. She, you know, just watching her eat them all the time. I was like, I gotta try some of them damn grits. What yep. kind you get? The kind that she showed me. Okay. The paper. You have to kind of. Uh, grits are kind of bland. You know, you got to kind of have You got to put some salt and pepper or some butter or something in them, you know. But yeah. I love me some grits. Mm -hmm. Yep, a couple of easy eggs. <laughs> Fucking delicious. You put the white in there? I mean, how do you, you just put the egg on top of it or what do you do? Fry you, yeah, fry your eggs over easy, however done you like them. But, mm -hmm. for, you know, over easy meaning a little bit of yellow runny, not the white right. runny. Yeah. <laughs> Flop a couple of them over on top of them after you've done put some, you know, salted and peppered it. Maybe yeah. even a little butter to your taste. And then throw you some eggs on top of it and stir them the fuck up and eat them. Or, or whatever. What, like if it's a breakfast, whatever breakfast meat you're eating. Mm -hmm. Bacon, sausage. You know, like cut it up in small pieces and yeah. just kind of mix it all together and make a... I mean, Bojangles around here, I don't know if you got them up there, but they even sell bowls of like... That mm -hmm. is grits, eggs, sausage. Oh, wow. Just like a, it's like a, a breakfast gumbo, southern style. Oh, <laughs> yeah. well, that sounds good. Hell, the Hardys down here sell, sell a uh, breakfast bowl mm -hmm. like <laughs> that. They probably do here, too. I don't know. We don't have good food up in the north. No. We like the sick man, sick man said, the south is better because nobody ever retires and moves north. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> if it wasn't for ice fishing, I'd be gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's <laughs> right on, Mike. <laughs> well, you know, this, if it's the ice fishing holding you back, we can always set you up on a a five gallon bucket, and you would sit down in the deep freezer and freeze it, slap solid. You know, sit on that chunk of ice, freeze your ass off while you're fishing. It'd be the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, down south, you can find old freezers all over the place. Fill them up with water. And ice. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll have to get used to that because those little fish that you eat that you that I thought was bait fish is what we really use for bait. Mother effort. <laughs> 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 right? Because we catch some big ass with your fish down here. Now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the warm water promotes growth. <laughs> now, right. now, I can't say nothing against the, like, the pike and oh, yeah. uh, what's the other. They, they, they all do have some big fish up there. Oh, yeah, I, look, I, I like I like pike. I, I've just given her shit about her mm -hmm. little brim. But. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I like to catch. I caught brim. I like to catch the brim big enough. I actually fillet them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I could fillet one that big if I wanted to. Bad enough, <laughs> it's just gonna taste like breading. Yeah. Yeah. Now, granted, I mean, it has to be a really big brim to really get a good fillet off one. But, like a nine incher or something like yeah, that. Right. Yeah. But they are down there. Yeah, we got some big ones. They just weren't biting through the ice this year. They were, I don't know what the problem was. They were probably all frozen. Yeah. Yeah, y'all had a cold winter. Yep. Yep. 
sick man says he can say that because he's from Michigan. Right. <laughs> but he's in the south now, so that's right. Not where you need to be. He in North Kakalaki. Mike says, "Did say y'all one time?" <laughs> y'all. <laughs> I've caught her a few times. Well, I won't say I've caught her, but I've I've heard Michelle's rubbing off on her. They talk to me much. Right, I know, right. Now, see the thing in in, in TR's corner of South Carolina, they like to say Ewans instead of y'all. Yeah, Ewans. Yeah, my my ex mother in law said Ewans all the time because she's from up uh, around Emin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear that a good bit. The Youpers in Michigan say uses instead of you. Uses. Uses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they add an S to everything. Like, it's not Walmart, it's Walmarts. It's not mm. Kmart, it's Kmarts. Right. It's like, well, how many are we going to go to, damn it? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I used to say deers. Uh, deer, deer's deer. Put an S on everything too. Uh, I guess I'm country and I thought I was in because I still consider it going north, just going to Greenville. <laughs> 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 right. Well, I have to admit, you know. I mean, not hardcore or anything, but I'm kind of like you. I was kind of grew up thinking like North Carolina. Hell, that's damn near Yankee there, you know? Hell, yeah. <laughs> you got north in the name, damn it. Right. It's got north in it. You know? <laughs> we, have, um, we have town Fedville. Yeah. It's Fayetteville and Whiteville. And I say Wivel and Fevel. <laughs> I can't. I don't say Fetville. I say Fevel, Wivel. <laughs> and that's what everybody says, but it's just not the way you're supposed to say it. But I, that's the way I say it. Yeah. One time I was in Ohio and <clears throat> we were trying to figure out where Eden, Ohio was. Well, there's also an Eaton, Ohio. And we stopped at a gas station, and everybody in the world turned southern as soon as we hit the border, you know? <laughs> it's like, do you know where Enon is? Eaton? No. <laughs> no. Enon. Eaton. No. <laughs> we're, not, we're not hungry. We want to know where Enon is. <laughs> and finally, my mom spelt it. She's like, Enon. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your mom doing that, too. <laughs> Oh, Enon! Okay. <laughs> yeah, when Michelle's giving directions, I just always say, just show me on the map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Because no, yeah, the right. names don't match. <laughs> no, yeah, right. My friend Michelle said, I'm looking for Fed, Bill. Fedville. Fedville. Well, I'm sorry, but your friend has a speech impediment because they're <laughs> right now, right? <laughs> right. You know, like five of them, devil. I hadn't heard that one. No, it's funny. Yeah. I think mean, that well, where I, I don't know that we shorten words up well, me anyway. I, I overpronounce stuff sometimes. Like Ohio was talking about me saying gal, but no, no that was Van Prepper. <laughs> it says, it sounds like a whole sentence when that when TR said galvanized. Hi, right. <laughs> Pennsylvania Shane. Goodbye, the redneck prepper. Howdy, howdy. Well, I'd call Greenville Greenville. Yeah, Greenville. Greenville, but it's Greenville. No, it's Greenville. <laughs> <laughs> we agree on it's Greenville. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I say Greenville, too, but I grew up. And the na one of the neighboring towns was Greenville, Alabama. Yeah, I think it's a Greenville in about every state, or at least in the south. Yeah. 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 
It's even a Greenville, Texas, if I'm not mistaken. So. Just so happened in South Carolina, it's one of the bigger counties and cities. Right. Wherever. There's a Greenville here in Michigan, too, not far yeah. away. Don't doubt it. Yep. We're real creative with our towns and stuff. Just like, right. tra just like Traveler's <laughs> Rest. That was from the pig farmers and shit coming down out of the mountains to go to the town to sell their pigs, and this yeah. was a stopping point, you know. Um, to rest. Right. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Traveler's <laughs> rest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, like my little town, 96. Yeah. So they were real lazy getting the name on that one. It was 96 miles from Charleston. It was a trading post. <laughs> And I'm not okay. sure how Sugar Tit got named, but we got a little town called Sugar Tit. Oh <laughs> I don't think I'd want to live there. <laughs> it was a badass little B cup chick. Where's the big Badass little B cup, cup chick, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we got a um a little area up here in Virginia somewhere or another. It's called Mount Trashmore. <laughs> nice. Yep. And that's what it pretty much has, is trash. <laughs> but it's called Mount Trashmore, and every time they say it on the radio, I just flip out because I'm like, oh, my gosh. Now, the reason it's called Mount Trashmore is because that used to be a landfill area. Okay. Oh. They packed dirt on it and, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know obviously the mound and made it because it made mounds, and, and then they planted it grass and this, that, and another and made a park out of it. When they closed the landfill down, it made it a city uh, a city park out of it. Well, well, I've been nice. through there or around there or something because I seen the sign myself, and then what I seen more. Yeah. So when people say this park stinks, they really mean it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, Greenville Technical College is built on a grant uh, landfill here in Greenville. Yeah. Hope they pack that stuff down good. Yeah. Our uh, our closed land fields, the three of them that are here, they all they buy the piece of land next door, you know, dig a new hole and start over. But the three they've capped off down here is actually part of the prison work farm down here. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, your trash is growing hay and corn and beans for everybody to eat. <laughs> nice. Right. <laughs> Wow. <clears throat> yes, yeah, sick man. I, 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 I'm with you on that one, too. Traffic does suck. But it sucks more up here in Virginia than it does in Fayetteville, believe me. Amen. Okay, I have a question about the peanuts. Do you eat the shells? No. Oh, no. no. Now, some people will... Put their stone in their mouth and they'll suck on it and get all the juice and then they they'll open it with their teeth and then they'll eat, take it out and get the peanuts out. But I don't do that. I just open them and eat them like this. Hey, they're blinkster. And usually they're. It's a fine line of being too salty and salty enough. You, they they have to be a little salty, a little mm. salty tasting. Okay. Not too much. I have ate some. Did you? Just, you know, right. almost make you pucker up like a lemon. Like, oh. These have just the right amount. They yep. got just the right amount that's on why, them. That's why I said that brand right there is the best can pre boiled You know, go buy some boiled peanuts in a can. Kind of you can get. And at Walmart, Walmart they have them in a big old bag where you tear the top off and you can zip them back up and eat just what you want out of them. But it's a big old. And the bag you can actually put in the microwave and warm them up because they're good and warm. I mean, you can pour these in a bowl and warm them up too. I don't warm them up. I just eat them like they are. I'm too lazy to warm them up. Hmm. But they're oh, good and Said there's a pig knuckle Arkansas. <laughs> Pig's knuckle Arkansas. Damn. <laughs> well, I, I drove through Arkansas coming back from California when I was in the Navy. Coming back toward Virginia, and I went through. I and I, I started to stop and take a picture of it, but I came past this road, or I was going down the road, and it was like a crossing, and the name of the road was, uh, it was like, uh, 
Toby Toby Lane and Whitey Street. <laughs> and, and I was like, Whitey and Toby, okay. <laughs> and I was cracking the fuck up. No, I tried the field peas, and I really liked those. Those were really, really good. You tried the field? You found them? You yeah, found them? man, those are good. Yeah. How would you cook them up? I just put them on the stove top. So anything you put the meat in them? Um, <laughs> no, I didn't. I just ate them. I should have put meat in them. I usually either cook them with uh, like uh, baked ham. Oh sure, okay, like, like baked okay. Ham or a few strips of bacon in it, just it, to get you know get that season going on. Yeah, and it's it's delicious. Oh okay, I'll do that next. time. <laughs> I mean, they were good. Just, they were, but yeah, I'll try that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they're good right by itself. I ain't saying, but I just, you know, being from the south, you know, you got to put some, you got to put some more fat, fat into it. You right on. Put some fat meat in every damn. Yeah, we're yeah. big into damn pork flavoring, pork right. fat, pork flavoring, <laughs> yeah. collard greens. Yeah. You got to have fat back oh, or yeah. a ham hocks or something. Ham in. Hot. Something in that bitch. Boy, that makes some collard greens good. It just had just enough. Hmm. Gotta have a little pig fat in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> makes all the world of difference. Or you like you can do like Peachy says uh, with some salt pork, but you gotta be real <laughs> careful with that salt pork. You'll yeah. you'll uh, overdo the the salt in it. Yeah. And you have to cut it up. You don't. Well, like the fat back. Fat back, I get it. It's just usually pretty salty too. But but they use that kind of. You're right. You have to be careful because otherwise you do have to salt it. But if you use like the salt pork or fat back, it kind of salts it. Yeah, just yeah it, that it's in salt there. to come out of it in there, and you mm -hmm. you'll be overdid the uh, salt on it. You have to be mm -hmm. careful with that. Yeah, I've done the collard greens one time and did the. I think we put ham or bacon or something in it. That was really good. Yeah. And Peachy says, with some cornbread, crackling pepper sauce, and some chow chow. Amen. Mm -hmm. Damn right. Some chow chow on top of them fresh field pe them field peas. Oh, my God. <laughs> my grandma talks about chow chow, but I don't you know. I, I seen some in the damn store the other day, Dish, and we had talked about this one time before because you said, your grandma or what, and your mama had talked about it, but you had never tried it. And I, yeah. I, 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 I saw it and I stopped, and I was like, that probably would break because they come in glass jars. Oh, sure, right, yep. And I was like, that would probably break. <laughs> this you get a blob of fucking small, <laughs> small chow chow and glass. Right. Later, Matt. You're, yeah, you're right. You need some beauty sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but don't feel bad. I need to sleep for about 10 years myself. <laughs> Auburn, my ass. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> you ever watch that movie Pumpkin Head? Yeah. And that old witch, and the guy goes there, and you know he's upset because you know he wishes that he hadn't have brought Pumpkin Head back, and he's like, "Damn you to hell!" And she's like, "He already has." Right. <laughs> he's a creepy bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Peachy. Hell yeah. <laughs> Some fresh yeah. chow chow. Damn right. That mason jar is pretty damn tough. Yeah, they are. I dropped one the other day because I, cause I, I use them sometimes put my leftovers in. They're just a real convenient container. <laughs> I had some spaghetti and I packed a little pint 
the mason jar, mm -hmm. and I was putting it in the fridge, and I ain't kidding, man. I dropped that thing about that far, and it hit concrete. That, and when it hit, it sounded like it broke, but I couldn't even find a chip on it. And I was like, well, okay, for that <laughs> See you, driver. Have a good night. Yeah. Good night. Good night, driver. Later, driver. Yeah, later, driver. He's looking for a new computer, so. Hmm. H -E, what kind of chow chow you make? The sweet or the non sweet? I forget what it's. My grandmama called it. Like pickled or? It's not quite. Not quite pickled. Not like pickle, like pickle relish or pickle pickles. It's. Right. Uh, you can make it. A lot of people make it with like uh, peppers, like green peppers, bell peppers, type mm -hmm. thing. Uh, oh yeah, it's got all that stuff. But you can make it either sweet or you can make it not. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and it depends on how you make it. I was just wondering because yeah. I, I, although I like the sweet chow chow, I prefer the non sweet chow chow. Like mild and hot, like spicy. Uh, it, it's got a little bit to it, but not. It's not. It's not meant to be hot. Yeah, you know? I think. Or I know around here that would probably be considered the mild, because yeah. it does have a little bit of bell pepper and stuff in it. So it's not spicy, spicy like hot, spicy, uh -huh. but it ain't sweet and it ain't really tart. You know, it's just kind of right. You know, just a little bit of heat, just enough, but, but a good flavor. You yeah. use like green tomatoes, a little bit of tomatoes that start. I've, I've seen different recipes. A lot of them have like green tomato pieces in it. But it's just little bitty pieces around here anyway. Okay, so she says sweet and spicy. I add a hot pepper. It has a bit of a heat, but not hot. Right on. Pennsylvania Shane says, what is chow chow? <coughs> it's basically a pepper relish type stuff that you put on beans and peas. Yeah. Or really on anything else. Yeah. You would, anytime I, you think you'd put some type of relish. Yeah, it's kind of, I, I guess a relish is the best way to describe it. But it's like really minced up relish. But it's... It's not pickles. It's right. It's it's not. Yeah. It's not a pickle. So you could put it on a hot dog or something like that. Yeah. 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 You could. Oh, yeah. You yeah. could. I've seen people eat them on eat it on hot dogs. I just mm. prefer it on fresh peas and and beans and stuff. Sure. That's, okay. You know, like like those field peas we told you about, and you got mm -hmm. or uh, proper hull beans and. Uh, oh, okay. She said, "Yeah, green tomatoes, cabbage." Things like that. The way I see most people eat it, I say most, but when I'm paying attention, it's kind of like you put a little bit, like you got a plate of food, whatever it is, like the beans and all that stuff, and you just put a, a little scoop in on the plate by itself, and then you just kind of get, you know, you just whatever you're eating, you just dip a little bit over there in it, and just yeah. get a little flavor of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, Brian says they call that pepper jam. Okay. Probably the same stuff. Uh, I don't know. I ain't never heard nobody, but that don't mean that. Yeah, well, I they really hadn't, but I ain't never heard nobody call it pepper jam. Yeah, up north, maybe they call it pepper jam. Down here, we call it chow chow, and I have no idea where that name come from. <laughs> no. Nah. I do know my grandma used to make some uh, homemade jalapeno jalapeno jelly. My God, that shit was good. Hmm. It was sweet and set you on fire all at the same time. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yep. Yep, Chow Chow's got green tomatoes in it, and all. I mean, it's oh god, it's just good though. Mm -hmm. And they and now the shit you see in the store, you, you got used to it was just like the regular I was talking about, and and you had the sweet. And now there's like two or two more added 
mm-hmm. variants to it that you can find in the stores around here anyway, at least. <laughs> Yeah, Peachy says it's in the blue, uh, the ball canning book. Yep. I know I was, uh, last time I went a year or two ago to the, uh, little you pick farm. Mm hmm. And it was a lady, she was almost acting like it was a secret. She was trying to find tomatoes that were green, but just turning red. You had, just a hint of color to them. And she said that, and I got to talking to her. She was telling me her recipe for uh, Chow Chow, but she was still a little sad. Well, I can't tell you everything, but this is what I get. She's telling me <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, they ain't going to give you the whole recipe now. Yeah, she used some that were just straight up green, but then she also added those ones that were just starting to turn, you know, getting that little orange tint to them, mm-hmm. you know, and kind of doing a mix with that. And then she also, like I said, you know, green peppers or what, whatever else it was in it, you know, probably was cabbage and different things. Shit's making me hungry. No. <laughs> <laughs> They want me some gut down for being there trying to cook me a pot of beans or some shit in a minute. <laughs> yeah, Peachy, okay, a little bit. Yeah, yeah like I said, just where it's starting, just to turn colors that she was talking about. She liked the, uh, and she had a recipe on like how much of that, you know, I don't know. I've never made chow chow, so I don't know. No, me neither. My grandma used to make it homemade, man. Oh my god! Yeah, you can buy it around here, all over the place. Like, yeah, real chow chow. That's, I mean, people are doing it for uh, making money, but man, it's like five dollars for a damn little jar. Of that shit. Mm-hmm. Yep, a lot of work goes into it too, oh, though. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Hell yeah. Mm. Peachy says she got a beans in the crock pot with a big ass ham bone in it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> she said she did share her salad with you. <laughs> yeah. No, I changed my mind on that. I didn't go get his own salad. <laughs> You had the blink drum, fine. Yeah. All right. <laughs> he's a gun metal. I hope these cardboard boxes in this storeroom can keep a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Check them for illegal aliens. And, yeah. <laughs> I hate to do it, guys, but I don't have to bail on everybody. Yeah, it's getting to be that time. Well, I mean, I got to go to work. <laughs> right. Mm hmm. <laughs> They only got yeah. like three and a half, four hours sleep last night. <laughs> I wow. got, to, got to do another 12 t- today. <laughs> yeah, you definitely got to get some sleep. We ain't going to be on here much longer. We're going to get get to going. All right. Well, I'm going to bail out on you. All right. Bye. All right. Well, Appreciate you having you. me on, Michelle, everybody. Well, we'll see you. Uh, Wednesday. Yep. Wednesday. Yep. I can stay. Alrighty. I can stay all night Wednesday. So. Okay. Cool. All right, T. R. Take it easy, bud. All right. See y'all. All right. Night. Night. Take care, man.
Yes. It's rough when you gotta go to work. Yeah. And he comes in and he tries to sit in with us. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. We seen the funniest thing the other day when we were going to Johnny's Job Fair. We were coming back, and if I had my phone and a camera, that would have been hilarious. But it was this lady on a bicycle that drove right past us. Remember her, Johnny? Mm -hmm. She looked like the woman. She, well, the way she was riding a bike, it, she looked like the um, the witch on Wizard of Oz. <laughs> the, the woman who, but this was, I don't know what. She was some type of religion, but she was riding one of those type bikes, and she had a checkered green dress on. She had her hair with a little thing around it, and she was just sitting there, and she was just a pedaling with her green dress on. It was so funny. It was I just hadn't. It was just funny because she was sitting up real straight. <laughs> it, was just right. it was just hilarious, and she was not a little woman either. She was a pretty big woman, so it was. Well, most of those people are because, I mean, they're constantly cooking and, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, you know, like the Hooterites and stuff like that, you know, they're, they, the women cook. Yeah. And stuff like that. The Amish, we have all kinds of those yeah. people around here. It was, it was hilarious, though. She just happened to come in front of me. I said, gosh, that had been a great picture of show dish, but I didn't get it. They usually get pissed if you take a picture of them. Well. So I make it a point to take a picture of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they don't want to take any pictures of them. What are you going to do, shun mm -hmm. me? <laughs> I put a curse on you. I usually flip them off because they're in the middle of the road and it's dark outside and they're on their little bikes and they got no lights or anything, you know, no reflectors or anything. It's like, I almost killed you, you idiot. Right. <laughs> there was a guy going down the road the other day. He didn't have no reflectors on his bike or nothing. and He, he was a black guy, so I mean, it was real dark. I didn't even see. Right, yeah. I mean, he had all black on. Black shoes and everything, and my, I just happened to come around the corner, and there, and my lights just flickered up on his jacket, and uh -huh. I had to swerve from hitting him. Yeah, when I hit people and they roll in the ditch, I just usually roll down my window <laughs> and say, "Y'all right?" <laughs> right. <laughs> if, if, they, if they move, I'm you know I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> or hit a big old huge you you hope somebody's walking side of the road when you hit a big old huge puddle oh yeah splash you try not to miss something you're like oh there's water <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sorry I am so sorry <laughs> like, yes good job Looks like a really nice suit that he had on, too. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I've done that like one time by accident. I really didn't mean to do it. I got somebody wet that was walking inside the road. Yeah. I didn't know that I dissed the peachy prepper. Sorry if I dissed you. She was picking at you about her cooking all the time. Oh, okay. I get it, right? When you said that, yeah, they get a little bit bigger because they cook all the time, having to, you know, tasted the food and whatever. Right, yeah. She was saying she cooks okay. all the time. They even have a place at the Walmart where the Amish are for them to park their buggies. It's just hilarious. Oh, wow. No. <laughs> yeah. So I always go and key their buggies. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Brandon just put up says multiple reports are coming out of Young Racer incident tonight with Tony Stewart. Stewart has passed away. His name was Kevin Moore. Oh, that's oh, not gonna shit. be good. Oh shit. That's gonna be that's manslaughter, not is it not? 
<laughs> he literally ran over the person because I was not in here when you guys were talking about that. I don't. I, it didn't say if he ran over him. It says he hit him with his car, but uh, how they hit him, I don't know. I mean, did he like physically run over him? Right. It's, it's according to how it's going to look at it. Did he veer off to hit him, or was the guy just bouncing out there in the middle of the track and he just happened to get hit? I think he was going to talk to him or something. Well, he, what they were trying to say. It wasn't exactly a talk to him. He was going to go bitch and probably, you know. Right. And when he shouldn't have been truthfully, you know, yeah. doing that. They all do it, but. It he, says reports Tony Stewart ran over. <gasps> That's what it says. And he's dead. Yeah. Tony Stewart hits Walker dri walking driver in sprint car. That's not going to go good. That's. No, it ain't. I don't see anything where it says the guy's dead though yet. I mean, I hadn't. No, seen yeah. It. I mean, why though would you get mad? I mean, I know how they clip each other and stuff, and but I mean, you're going around in an oval in a circle. Big deal. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hello, flying fifty seven. <clears throat> Suppose that this was a seventeen year old boy, too. Damn. I don't see anything where it says he died. It just said Tony Stewart investigated after altercation with a 17-year-old boy left possibly in serious condition. Hmm. So, um, I don't see anything. Yeah. Hmm. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. That's not going to be good for him at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. That's just like when those baseball players get pissed or something and they throw the ball in the stadium or something like you know, up into the crowd, knock the hell out of somebody, and it's like, oh, jeez. Right. Yep. I think at the, the bare minimum, his days of going around and around that track and getting paid for it are over. Exactly. Yeah, I actually like Tony. Yeah, I do too. I know he can be a dick, but <clears throat> he will stand up for himself, and anybody he says is my is his friend. So, right, you know. That's sad. I don't follow it nowhere near like I used to do him. After Dale died, and I just kind of yeah. quit watching it really, but. Yeah, that was terrible. Yeah, the thing now is, you know, all the safety gurus that you know, ball smash car around, what are they going to do now? You know, I mean, you got something like this going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's next? They're going to put, you know, 10, 12 inches of foam rubber around the cars for shit like this. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, I have always said, no matter how mad they get, you're an idiot for walking out in the middle of that fucking track 
Even under even under yellow flag conditions, they're oh, still yeah. moving fast enough to kill you. Yeah. And, and what if you know just for whatever reason that driver don't see you? You know, I ain't saying that's the situation here. I'm just saying I think it's stupid to walk toward a motherfucking moving race car. Period. Yeah. Yeah, that is. Very and they stupid. all do that shit. And they'll they'll mm-hmm. and then they'll wait and throw the helmet at the car right at the last minute, trying to hit the driver through the net and everything else. And I'm like, y'all fucking stupid. Yep. <laughs> and that level of stupidity transfers all the way down the line of racing, man. I've seen it the dirt tracks, you know, with the late models and the modifieds, and even the the chaps, you know, running the little uh, racing carts and shit. They do the same stupid ass stuff, man. Yeah. It, it's a racetrack, not a damn walking track, you know. Exactly. Exactly. You, you, you wreck out. You, if you got to get get out of the car, you get off the fucking track. At least that's what I would be doing. Yeah. See you, Chris. Good night. Yep. Later, man. What if I walk out there and that guy that I'm walking out there to throw the helmet at? slams on brakes and then another car hits him and then knocks his car into me and then I'm still just as dead. You know what I mean? Yep. Too many variables. Yep. Too many variables. Yep. Well, no matter what's your question. Me. No, I ain't saying you should die for being stupid. Well, not always. I'm not saying that. <laughs> well, there are some people that natural selection should take care of. Right. It it said the news said that the guy was in his car. He got out of his car, and that Tony Stewart's rear tire struck him. But the guy should have stayed in his vehicle. True and that. he wouldn't have been put in that predicament, so they don't know what, but it doesn't say that he's dead or nothing yet, so I don't know where that's coming from, but Brian I don't keeps saying anything. that they're trying to say Tony gunned his engine and made the car spot him. If Tony did gun his engine, he was probably just trying to throw dirt on him. Yeah. Tony, Tony ain't going to try to kill nobody. No. Especially not at a dirt track, and it's, you know... Tony Tony has been a big advocate of trying to get the dirt tracks back to be able to uh, give people a way to come up and race it. You know what I mean? Because a lot of the dirt tracks closed, and Tony bought a lot of them and reopened them, and was it was costing him money to operate them because they was making no profit. Just to try to give people a place to race and learn how to race. So I know he wasn't trying to kill the kid. Twenty-five right. feet, but he was. They were stopped. What's that? Brandon says they're saying he was thrown twenty-five feet, according to eyewitnesses. There's just no way. That's just not. They must have been at a standstill or something. It says he got out the car. I mean, he had to be at a. Stand still. So why would the guy get out of the car if they're still rolling? I mean, of course he wouldn't get out of the car while he's rolling, but well, he still was still stand, rolling. I mean, right. When 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 somebody gets bumped off the track like that, the, mm-hmm. the, the yellow flag comes out and they keep moving, but they're not running wide open. They're on the yellow mm-hmm. flag speed, whatever that is for each track. And yeah. So if 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 he was if he was thrown 25 feet and he only and and he hit him with the back. He wasn't trying to hit him, hit him. Yeah. This is what happened was the back end kicked out and clipped the guy, and the guy flew across the track. Graves says Stewart swerved before gunning the engine, but not believe it was intentional. See? Uh, he swerved probably to avoid the dumbass because he was getting too close in his, in his anger, and then it caused the... Yeah, you can, you can swerve and you know, nail down on the throttle, kick the ass in a loose, you can spin yourself out to avoid hitting another car. But. Right. 
Well, anyway, I, I don't see nothing where the guys, they said the guy was dead, so I don't know. I don't see anything anywhere. Yeah. It would be all, it would be plastered like everywhere. If you click on Tony's store, it would be popped up there, and it's not popped up there, so I don't know. And like, um, somebody else said it a while ago, something about, they said that, there was somebody at the hospital, but they wouldn't give them more details about it. Sheriff is supposed to talk to media approximately 3 a.m. according to the local report. I'm sure they're going to try to make a little bit of a stink out of it and everything, but they, I don't see I don't see how you could get. You know, obviously I wasn't there. I don't see. And Tony does have a temper, but Tony has had opportunity. If Tony was going to do that intentionally to actually run over somebody, he would have done done it by now because Tony's temper ain't near what it used to be. They all right. got tempers. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know Tony personally. I, I'm not trying to, you know, mm -hmm. make excuses for him. I'll tell you what, though. I mean, I don't. I'm not a race car fan, so, but you know, I don't have anything against anybody that is. But I'll tell you what. What's worse than watching it is listening to it on the radio. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my, my uncle. See, I like racing, so it don't. It's me and my uncle used to listen to that crap on the way to. It was like an hour trip to where we went trout fishing, and I just wanted to kill myself. Just, just jump out the car while it was driving down the road. <laughs> it is. Have you ever take you to a race? Have you ever been to a race live? Yeah, I have. You didn't enjoy it? Um, it was alright. It was quite noisy, and I kept getting hit by little tire pieces, but it was alright. <laughs> Let's just say, I guess those weren't the best seats to have. To be, I mean, they were close. <laughs> right. Maybe a little bit too close. <laughs> now, I guess being there is better, but I could never watch like 500 laps or something. I mean, I would just hang myself from mm -hmm. the poles. No, you like when you get down to the. Usually, it gets really interesting, like down to the last 10 laps. They, for some reason, they can't slow their roll. They just, they start getting stupid then. They start trying to get to that finish line, and then they run out of gas. There goes a blow tire. They bump somebody into the wall, and they just get overly excited. Okay, I, I just watched the footage of the kid getting hit that Ohio put in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the kid done it to himself. He run out in the middle of the fucking track, and then Tony went high, and he tried to run back up to point fingers and do the, you know, fuck yous, and got hit. It's his fault. And these wasn't the full size like NASCAR type deals. These were the little wing top midget. Like the little know, outlaw cars. Big, yeah, them little outlaw fuckers, you know, with the big ass tires and shit. Damn. He, from what I just saw, my opinion only, people. He, uh, you know, it was an accident. He acted like a jackass and got hit. Hmm. See, even Brian just said it. It was an accident. That ward asked for what he got. Oh, Sorry, oh, that's oh, what oh. I see. Yeah, I see the same thing. He, he was acting like a jackass out in the middle of that track, and he went, I mean, he went way down in the track, and they come way back up. As the cars were trying to dodge his ass and got whacked. Yeah. Damn, he just ran right. He's just running right out, and the cars is flying by him. Yeah. Look at his dumb ass. Well, yes. <gasps> he's probably called an mm. asshole a lot of folks, but it's like Johnny said a while ago. It's natural selection. Oh yep. my gosh, he's just laying there limp. But yeah, it fucking he went up under the fucking tire. Oh, he's in his serious condition. He stupid ass got sucked in. Oh my word! Yeah, if you guys don't see it, take that link out the comments and you can see it. Oh my goodness, he was laying there limp, limp noodle. 
It really... Mm. Ooh, lip noodle. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, uh, he's just laying there lifeless. So he probably is dead after that. He had some internal energies, I, because... Uh, yes. Internal lots. There it is, Flon. Open up a YouTube and uh, attach that right after the dot com forward slash and then co copy paste the watch part and it'll hit enter. It'll show you the footage. Wow. That's amazing. Well, yeah, yeah, it looked it, like Tony swerved. You're damn right he swerved trying to get the fuck out of the way. He was trying to go high and the guy, or, you know, the fucking dickhead was in the way. But, you know, see it like you want it, and that's your opinion. I don't know. Uh, you may be agreeing with me, and I just, but whatever. I think he's yeah. a dumbass. Yeah, he done that to himself. You should have never got out of your vehicle. It was not safe. They hadn't even thrown <laughs> the, probably the caution flag down. Or if they had, they'd just done it. Yeah, he, he should have stayed up there near his vehicle where it was safe. Yeah, it was a it. yellow flag, but still, you shouldn't get out your vehicle. Mm -mm. AZ said it was a yellow flag. You still no, it was. It was a yellow flag, but he should have been in, in up there by his vehicle or in it. Right. He ran out himself. Wow. Hmm. I remember and you can tell how dark that track was. I guess I just yeah. watched this. Yeah, you better watch this. Yeah, I, I can remember from the, the days of the dirt track cars, you know, me and younger. You'd be banned from a damn track if you got out of the car, you know, you spun out or got rolled or whatever. You, damn track officials, you know, they'd, they'd get real pissy if you got out of the car if there was anything on that side of the track, you know, that half the track. Oh, yeah. That's wild. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I hope he survives, but... Yeah, I don't wish him no death or nothing, but... Uh, I don't see nothing worse than that. Might be an attitude adjustment he needs. Yeah. If he makes it through that, he'll be doing some serious rehab. Hey, just in case. No, who? Because he's going to have to learn how to walk and everything else again because he got squished. It does look like he kind of goes towards him, but that could be just him accidentally hitting the body. You know what I'm saying? It made his car do that when he hit the body. Mm -hmm. Did you see the body just limp? Just laying yeah, his there arms all twisted? twisted wrong and shit. And yeah. Hey, Shabu. Hey, Shazabu. Wow. Even Shabu says he should have stayed in the car. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Because he was dodging cars to get to the... To yeah, yeah. 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 he got hit a couple times before he got back up the hill. To yeah. Dumas. He David had too much adrenaline running. David and Mrs. said he just figured out the secret to get in, whatever that is. It took him over an hour or more to get in to get the uh, into the chat. Good gracious. Good Lord. We had standing room only, but I mean, hey. <laughs> <coughs> and that's what we were saying, Flon. He should have stayed in the car by the rail mm -hmm. or over the rail or, you know, anywhere but running down in the middle. It was because he was pissed off because he thought Tony put him in the wall on purpose. Now he put him in the hospital. <laughs> And uh, so. now he's doing, now he's fucking you know got his ass run the fuck over. Yeah, you you get up on the the high side of the track and all. I mean, you, yeah, it would dirt tracks. I mean, yeah, there's somewhat of a groove, but you get up there in the high the high end of the track where all the the tire chunks and everything else is at. You can't hold that damn car to start with, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah, them little fuckers come around the track sideways. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah, they were too. Yeah, you see it in the clip just before you get run before they had the wreck that they were mm -hmm. coming around there. Then some it's like it's like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
I went to the bus races once. That was freaking hilarious. <laughs> That's got to be 301,000 views. Big old buses flying past each other, tipping over and shit. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Praying that your old bus driver's in one of them. <laughs> Stunt, what'd you call them cars again? Yeah, outlaws. Outlaw sprint cars. Yeah, yeah outlaw sprint cars is what they're called, Flon. I don't watch too much of that racing, so I don't. I, I always forget the damn name of them. I'd like to see it in slow mo. Yeah, the only reason I I know about those is uh, you know, hot rods as a kid and drag racing all like that, and yeah, the mechanics of the car itself fascinates me. When you're talking about a car that is set up so far off balance to help it hook coming around these corners, a power to weight ratio that is just insane. I mean, mm -hmm. these are cars that are meant to stay in a continuous curve that can tote the front end as long as they want to and when they go into these corners you know once they first you know you, you tap the brake to set the car get it to brake loose and start sliding and you roll back in the throttle you watch them a lot of those guys will tote that inside front tire through the entire turn oh yeah yeah it's running on three tires yeah. sideways <laughs> yeah right <laughs> Yeah, they, and then some bitches ain't they ain't slow neither. No. I need some moonshine. You, you're telling about cars that are just stupid light, you know. Yep. Six hundred, eight hundred, sometimes a thousand horses or more. It's yep. insane the power to weight ratio on them. Yep. Okay, AZ says they didn't change the name on them. They used to be the Outlaw Sprints, now they call them the Wing Sprints. sprints. Hmm. <laughs> smoke break. How's that quitting smoking working for you, dear? <laughs> Tommy Earl across there in a second calling me an asshole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Love you too, Gown Metal. Hello, hell. Cartoons. The cat. Yep. Ser serenade the other. Yep. Flan, South Carolina, North Carolina, Alabama. Yeah, Supa came back on that night. It was out for, what do you guys think, a good hour? His internet? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
O'Brien yeah. called it just right too. He said, uh, "Time soup, but he just cupcake was in it would come back on and damp. That ain't exactly what happened." Right. Yeah, if he's getting trashed or not. <laughs> right. All right. All right, guys. We're gonna get ready and call it, and we will see you guys um Wednesday night at eleven thirty. I don't know if me and Dish we hadn't really talked about it, so you guys will just know if we're gonna do the Monday night chat like we did last Monday, where we invite people on the panel. It's oh. not a jammy time. It's just a hangout time. We don't know about that, but if we do, we'll schedule it early so everybody will know. But um, we will see you Wednesday night at 11.30. And I guess that's pretty much it, guys, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Yep. Thank you, you guys. Keep, yes, thank you. And um, you guys keep up with this Tony Stewart <laughs> stuff and let us know. Yep. Hey, Justin. Night, guys. We are out of here. Have a good day, mate. Good day, mate. Yep. Later, y'all. Night.